All are welcome on this Friday, as Repentless VG says. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to Friday. And this is where we play new new games, old games now, because uh, we're digging the archives today oh, on goodness. classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second or you miss half the show. Um, like like literally. half the half show. Half the show, because yeah. there's 60 frames. Yeah. And if you're watching at 30... You just see I mean, to be fair, every second frame. You won't notice how much of it you're missing, but you will you will at times notice that you're missing some of it and then you'll get really mad. Yes. And then there'll be yeah. a, like it's internet the conflict. Yeah. And then ra 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 ra. Yeah. It's it's during the games that you'll be missing it because the games are 60 frames a second and sometimes because the Atari only has two sprites to work with. And if there's three on a line, it can only draw two of them at a time, so one is going to be missing, or they're all going to be like do 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 do, all changing places. So and, and we don't want to no be good. responsible for your seizures. That's right. So get with it and set it to sixty. Um, I think the only time you'd actually be watching this on thirty frames a second is if you're watching it through an older television. And then it's okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's bad because it's only at thirty frames a second. But won't it? the 30 frames be averaged by your stupid television uh no won't the dumbness it, of the television like counteract I the smartness of the frames that, that would be nice no the way it processes um 60 is it either slows it down and goes uh, uh, uh and stutters which I, I i have on my chromecast my 30 frames a second television um or it automatically sets it to 30 frames on youtube uh, and the way YouTube does it is YouTube drops every second frame. It does not do any averaging. It doesn't blend. It just goes, yeah, I'll just drop half of them. And it'll be fine. Nobody needs to see all 60 frames. That's excessive. <laughs> God. Can you just click uh, in front of that? Don't click it down because it'll just pop back up again. Like here? Yeah, anywhere there. Uh, so today we're going to be playing five games. Uh, five older games. Sometimes I like... You know, digging in the archives for games that we haven't played before, that aren't new, that maybe people haven't seen. Like, are they still homebrew or all homebrew. all of the game? All, all homebrew. Okay. Always homebrew, except when I'm doing. Except when it's not homebrew. Except when it's not homebrew, <laughs> it's always homebrew <laughs> because I do um, not until I get my actual uh, Atari back. But I was doing uh, patch challenges for the Activision games That's every right. once in a while. That's been pretty much the only non-homebrew stuff, just because it is fun, fun thing to do. 60% of the time, every time. That's <laughs> right. We're going to be playing the games uh, Key Ops, Spider, RPS, uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, uh, Game Catcher 2600, and Seawolf, and Thomas Yench, a veteran of the Atari Age forums, and expert programmer, says he's only heard of one of these games. So, you know, sometimes I uh, am able to find some games that uh, people haven't heard of, which is always good. I think I've only heard of one of these games. Oh. And I'm not sure if I've heard of the game <laughs> or if it's just a familiar word. So what if it's, that word seems familiar. <laughs> See, game see catcher. One of those words. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chuck, Dan, EVC, M.U. Dan, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Spartan581, S. Ramirez2008, The D Train37, The Welshman89, Thunkiston, Tiki Dan K, and that is a lot of people. And I want to also thank Ground Trooper, who just resubscribed today to the channel. They have subscribed for 17 months. That is amazing. Uh, and I also and uh, you can support the show too and get your name right off. Um, you too can do that, Darcy. I can, Come on, I can do what? Subscribe, and I'll tell you how right now. Because he has Twitch Prime and he hasn't subscribed. He doesn't subscribe to anything. He's just throwing money away. It's, <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible waste. It is. And see, it's because don't every follow time, Darcy's example. It's because every time I've gone to do it, I realized, oh, I have to like merge. The two, oh. and I hadn't done that yet, and then I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'll do that tomorrow." Tomorrow, <laughs> and today is your tomorrow. That's right. So <laughs> today, what you could do is subscribe for free by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime, 
and then click subscribe and then you support the show and you don't lose money and we gain money and we gain support and we thank you so much look at that it worked look at that lord <laughs> lord mott just subscribed to tier one thank you so much lord mott and you get a little symbol beside your name in the chat that's your bonus that's your yeah, yeah. and it's it's bragging rights i guess yeah so if lord mott typed now he'll have the little name beside what it. what does first mean that's a good i've never seen first what is that founder oh so they were there from the beginning oh, i yeah. guess that, means. that makes sense yeah but one's 17 and one's 18. yeah How but that the be? streak he's seven he's on uh 17 months but a two-month streak which yes. means not having he the... missed he missed a month yeah. somewhere yeah. 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 yeah but founder must have been like from the very 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 beginning something like that yeah i don't know i don't know there we go he's got a zph white zph oh that's right you're the creator of game catcher 2600 and that is one of the wonderful things about the show we have creators that come in, the developers, and they can tell us some more background about the show. So um, his game will be up uh, fourth. So stay tuned for that, Lord Mott, and fill in some information um, because that's good because I didn't get a lot of information from the um, how early on it is, so a really, really early one. Because my name is like, I'm at a 20-month. I... Uh, I was supposed to say first 10 subs. Oh, first 10 subs, like total. Like yeah. your first 10 and then it's just kept, cut off. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Um, oh, yeah. I want to thank all the people who are live with us because we broadcast live on Twitch. Uh, Mondays. Uh, live! Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays live. We're live right now, except if you're not watching live. We're all about the live yeah. Except, yeah, when, when you're you not. Yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube, we do broadcast this live. We love a post live. <laughs> we love you, YouTube Pre recorded. Um, and the people who are here live, RC70, I supposed to Ground Trooper, Laud Mott, who just subscribed. RC7E, Gretums, who hasn't been here in a while. Thank you, Gretums. She's a long-term subscriber. 15 months. That's awesome. Uh, Tiki Dan K, who is Dan Kitchen. Awesome. Developer. Old school and new school. This new game's coming out. Gold Rush. Soon-ish. 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 Hopefully. Uh, Ground Trooper. Twitch. Uh, Thrust 26. Uh, Repentless VG. Dan AVC. I think I'm repeating names by now. P1LH4. I think you just said to call him H4. Uh, Spartan 581. And everybody else who is lurking and not talking. We love you too. You don't have to talk. You can just watch in the corner, in the dark. Gretum's moved across the country. Yes, much closer to us. Ah. Welcome. Now we can uh, visit a lot easier. Oh, Kale, Kale, Kal-El? Kal-El. Kal-El Prime. 1959, uh, just subscribe yes. to Twitch Prime. See, it works. You tell them how to do it, and it works. It's awesome. Thank you so much. And Azure 6502. He's going to lurk and not talk while well, you just wrecked all that. Any more? Come on. And- now, from now on, from now that's on, I'm right. not talking. Clearly that's... After this sentence, I'm not talking anymore. I, or or this one. That's never true. No. <laughs> um, and we got some very nice feedback um, in on Twitter, actually. Because um, we're on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all those places. Uh, this is from Robbie VGB. He says, today left me feeling bitter, angry, frustrated. Sounds bad from the beginning, but it's not. Uh, frustrated, disappointed and overall tired of everyone around me. And then I discovered all the stuff happening at Zero Page Homebrew, and suddenly my faith in humanity has been restored. There's a lot of love going into this. It sounded a little sarcastic, but then I was like, no, that's that's true. That's real. <laughs> There's a lot of love going into this. Well, thank you very much for watching, and um, we do try very hard to get the research and to dig into the archives of old games and celebrate them and play them and find out the history of these games and get the uh, developers in the chat and and show you games that you may not have played before. But well, he does that. May, yeah, I, I just show up and he, then he play does his part poorly. That's right. Play games. It's the comic relief. <laughs> no. <laughs> Occasionally, I guess. I'm, I don't know how much comic relief I supply. <laughs> I, that may be my in my job description. I'm not sure. Maybe. That's right. <laughs> the hidden fired. job description. Um, the, the, the first games, I have no idea where I found them. Uh, this guy is not on Atari age. 
Um, he has two public games that you can download. The other ones you can download as well. He's got like five on his page. But you're not supposed to. So you, can, you can, <laughs> but they're kind of wrapped in the emulator and you uh, can't, I couldn't uh, find okay. a way to extract the binary from the emulator. It's like cooked into it somehow. I didn't really want to run a, an executable from a page that I'm not, mm. not sure about. But the the two that he does allow to download, we're going to play today. It's Key Hops and Spider. And he's like an old school programmer from the 80s. But he's remade some of his games that he made in the 80s for other computer systems for the Atari 2600. Hmm. His name is Alain. Alain? Not Alan. Alain Fernandez. There we go. Alain Fernandez. Well, he spelled it wrong. But it's Alain <laughs> Fernandez. Um, and these two games are from 2018. Um, and he uh, originally programmed for the Oric 1 computer, which I'd never heard of before. Never heard of the Oric 1 computer. Apparently it's a um, European computer. Mm. Um, it says Oric was the name used by Tangerine Computer System, which I've heard of Tangerine. Because mm -hmm. uh, I watch a lot of really <clears throat> geeky European uh, YouTube videos <laughs> about computer systems. Uh, for a series of home computers, uh, including the original Oric 1. Uh, its successor to the Auric Atmos, and the later the Auric Telstrat models. I guess they weren't like super popular, but had enough of a following. Um, and we're going to take a look at the gameplay of his original version of this game that he programmed for the Auric 1 computer. Uh, this is Key Hops. Um, and uh, he actually made a game for the Atari 2600 in 1990 during the original run of the Atari 2600. Hmm. But it never got released. Um, so it doesn't really count. Like, I, I'm trying to determine um, if there's been anybody who has programmed a game that got released back in the original run of Atari 2600, then came back and released a homebrew as well. I thought someone had. And Tiki Dan K, Dan mm -hmm. Kitchen, is poised to do that. Uh, and he okay. didn't mention somebody else, but then there was some caveat about that person that he mentioned. Is like, well, no, that's not out, or something is going on uh, with that. So Dan is poised to be like the first person to span both a, a re original releases for the 2600 and a new homebrew as well. Yeah. Uh, Oric was the first computer I programmed on. Oh, Thrust 26 says. A very clicky keyboard. Well, it's better than those membrane keyboards. Those are terrible. Were yeah, my Trash flat? 80 had a chiclets, but not, chiclets the, not the good kind of chiclets. Like, people like chiclet keyboards. Like, people like Apple keyboards and their chiclet keyboards. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, the Trash 80 was, like, they was were, there were gaps between them. No, they were push buttons. They're push buttons. Oh, but okay. it was, was almost like but the not a keyboard. A it was almost like a whole bunch of buttons <laughs> that were arrayed like a keyboard, but not, oh, not an actual keyboard. A proper button. Yeah, not like proper. not an actual. Like the Commodore had like yeah, had Commodore had like an awesome keyboard. Like, really good. I would love to if it wasn't I don't limited. Like I would love it, to to turn a Commodore keyboard into like a PC keyboard. People have done cool. it. People have remapped it. Yeah, it's, ah, it's, it's possible. Cool. It looks difficult to do. Like you really, yeah. you have to pretty much wire all the keys again, I believe, because some of them are totally different keys. Like the Commodore key, what do you? I mean, make you that could, a control, I guess. And I mean, I'm, you would have to be able to do some sort of like software interface. Oh, maybe they to, did that to map it that way. I would think. If it's like, good, if it'll, cats are playing with something upstairs. Okay, exactly as Darcy says. <laughs> <laughs> Very clicky. Okay, uh, Lod Mod will be in and out of chat. I work at a call center. Okay. Well, hopefully you'll be around for when your game comes up. Let's take a look at the original version of uh, Elaine Fernandez's game. Up there. Hops. Well, they've got a little hangy thing that's oh. on that's on the blinds or on the shutters. Right, yeah. So when they jump up. For it, it makes it I know why it drives racket. them nuts. I walk in and if it catch if I catch the right thing, I think, oh, there's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I don't attack it. I like kind of cringe away. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is on the Auric One. That uh, let me just get this up on so everyone else can see it. There we go. 
on the Auric one. I don't know if there's music or it has sound. Pretty high resolution. Yeah, it looks really good. It's got lots of colors. I don't know anything about this computer. Yeah. But it's an 8 bit computer from the 80s, you know, along the lines of all the other ones. Okay, well, we've seen enough of that. Oh, volume. Like, uh, look at that guy up in the top left. Very right? good That's, resolution. Yeah. Single color, though. There we go. Well, the character single color. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Because sometimes it depends on uh, the sprites that come along with it or how it uses sprites, but it's got smooth scrolling with the guy. Very fast uh, screen drawing. This yeah. might be an emulator. But look at the text at the bottom. That's, that's great. Um, the programmer, I believe, is French because all of his things are in French. Do you think French. that's... Hmm? The text is... It's quite good. It's like a very good 8-bit computer. Oh, it's real text, yeah. Hmm? Monstre. Tempre. <laughs> There's like sprites at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what that means. A temple full of sprites? Oh, he has a jetpack. I only just oh. saw the jetpack now. Oh, I get so there. is this like a vertical, like he's going down? I guess it, that he must it's be. A, it's, a, he's flying it's a maze there. in which like your vertical information, maze. depending on where you are, like like you're here and yeah, yeah you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find any instructions for the new game or for this one, so we're going to have to wing it by kind of looking at what's going on on the screen here. It just looks like a collect-a-thon at this point. Get everything in the maze and finish the maze, I guess. So let's fast forward a bit. Big, big maze. Oh my god. Oh, did it finish? Key? Nope, doesn't want to get the key. Guess maybe the key's the end? Oh, he's still going around. Oh, he's at the key again? Nope. Maybe he can't use the key. Oh, he's got a sign there. Trying to get that sign up and around. No, up and around. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're almost there. What? What? You don't want the sign? Oh, he wants to go faster away. Okay. Let's see if he goes back to the key. He's almost to the key again. No. Oh, there's way more things. That was Cubert over there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. A lot of things in this huge, huge, huge maze. It was just collecting. It things. is a huge maze. Well, and that spider might be from his other game. Maybe there's bad things that you don't want to get. Yeah. It seems to be getting everything. It's a very strange manner, though. Yeah, I know. Like he only gets like, it from the side. Goes. Yeah. Yeah, you got that one from the side too. Yeah. Maybe you can only get them from the side. Okay, I want to see the end of this. So what is the goal? Just collect everything? <laughs> like. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this. Does he actually finish it? No, he just keeps collecting. Keeps on collecting. <laughs> no, okay. Just keeps collecting. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual game of it. Uh, let's load it up. What are people saying? Not much. There's a spot on my wall next to this monitor that has been there the whole entire time I've lived here, and I think it's a spider every time. <laughs> spider! Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's what the cats do. That's definitely what they do. Uh, they think there's a spider in one part of the room, and then they just keep coming back to it over and over and over again. Or there was an actual spider in one spot seven years ago, <laughs> and they're like... Is it still there? It's like, no, it hasn't been there in seven years. That's like when I was a kid <clears throat> uh, at a friend's house. They had a 45, like a like a record. Oops. Yep. And it was Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. Yep. And so then every time I saw a 45 after that, I was like, oh, maybe it's Hey, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> For like way longer than like... <laughs> Like That's I'm not, funny. I wasn't, I wasn't super stupid, but like my first instinct, I had right. to think, I had to think, no, that's not going to be, but like, for some reason I thought it was going to be that I was looking for. <laughs> if you for only it. saw that one, that yeah. one thing, it's like, no, this is a proprietary format ten, just for Mickey. I was 10. I had no, <laughs> I had no conception of how many songs existed. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> just one song. 
okay, other games he's made. Key Ops, Run and Gun, Spider, SR Mouse, Stack Jump, Westworld, and uh, the Crazy Cars that was uh, oh, I got put out in, or was going to be put out in 1990 uh, under Titus, an unreleased no, uh, homebrew. Non-homebrew. Non-homebrew game. But it was never put out, and he doesn't seem to have So what happens is if you it. go down too far, you can't move. Oh, can't move left and right. You kind of get stuck in the wall. Or, or at all. You can't, you can't move along the wall. Oh, sticky walls. It happens a lot in. No, but it's intentionally. Oh. Like, look, if oh, you're up you really in it, can't. And then when you let go, you go down. Yeah. Oh, wow! Very sticky walls. Now I did pre-play this just a tiny bit because I have to make sure it's, it works. Um. As soon as you go onto a screen, and you go off of it, and then come back on, they're all gone. Oh. Which is interesting that he remembers that you've been on the screen, but doesn't want to remember that which ones you have got and which ones you haven't got. It's like, so that means you can't get them. That's very correct. <laughs> which, which seemed like the point was to find your way through the maze... Collect so you everything. Get the things. Originally, I mean, these are kind of demakes, I guess. They're not yeah. perfectly. Well, to be fair, we couldn't figure out from that other video what what the uh, end result was supposed yeah. to be. Yes. Yeah. What? Whether you can finish a maze, whether you can finish the game. It's not the right way. What's well, not the right way? You have to go up. But he's still got his jet pack. Yeah. And you're still collecting things. All the things look the same, though. It looks good. Yeah, it does look good. And the maze is in all one color, so it's very colorful. Kind of liked Activision's Hero very much in terms of the colors of the character. Um, but in Hero, you're not collecting things. You're trying to rescue uh, one guy at the end of each maze, and there's a lot of obstacles. So when you go back... All those are gone. And then when you go back to there, mm -hmm. those are gone too. So the, you hope you go the way that there's two. So if you went the other way, you would have got two. But that way you only got one. Now the question is, does this go forever? I don't think it does because... Well, it still might. Is it the same maze every time? That's a good question. We can maybe, test that out maybe the next you're supposed game. to memorize it and then do it right. Just do it better. Uh, that one you got all three. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm always a little suspicious of any game in which I've played this long and haven't died yet. <laughs> well, is there's nothing to kill you? There's nothing to kill you in the original game either. We there's don't no know danger. that. He seemed very nervous of those spiders. <laughs> That's true. And he did try and get everything from the side. So if you accidentally hit them from the top, it, you, you die. Oh! You Vin! You Yen! Oh! Something else was there. Oh, we missed it. Okay. Uh, now the question was, is it the same every time? Let's reset. Well, this is reset, and it is the same. Is it? The starting map is, anyways. Oh, I'll know in a second whether it's... can actually reset. I'll know in a second You remember that? Is. Yeah, this is what the okay. first... And that looks yeah, the same. That's the same. So, you could memorize the maze and optimize your path to get the high score. Yeah. But you still can't get all the, the bibbles no. and or bobs. <laughs> No, you can only get some of the bobs, not all the bibbles. That's right. Or all the bibbles and none of and none of the bobs. None of the bobs, or fewer of the bobs. <laughs> <laughs> Game done. <laughs> the says, it's done. We've completed it. Wait, I want to get one more bibble and or bob. There Yay! we go. Okay. So if you were to win this game, other than winning it, you would try and optimize the number of things you got but you would just say you could just map it out and then do that so and there's no danger in this game that's that's you need danger you need some risk versus reward that's really what it is 
and the risk has to be high for the high rewards and uh, low risk for low rewards. Now this has nothing but rewards and zero risk and no replayability, unfortunately, unless you wanted to map out the maze for the highest score. Um, let's see what he wrote about the game on the website. Um, pew, pew, pew! Oh, that's, no, he didn't write out anything. It says a remake of my own game, La Dimon de Chiops. Um, I did not translate that. I should have. I translated the next game. Okay, so we're done that game. Not much to it. Uh, binging me. I wonder yeah, if they're all dying. All the bingings. All the bi Please pay attention to me. This next game is called uh, <laughs> Spider by Elaine Fernandez. This is also 2018, I believe. Oh, it is, because that's what the date he put on it. So, Spider... Flip over. Wait, wait. I didn't do anything. Twarrant me. Just one beep and then it goes into the game. Oh, it does. Okay. Um, this is a 4K game. The other one was a 4K game as well. Um, this is also available at Elaine's website. It says it's a remake of his own game. Oh my God, noisy. Oh, did I do that? No, I did it oh. by dying. Oh. A remake of his own game, Letter. Sarah Show, um, which I translated to approximately hot summer. This is also for noisy button. Oh my god. Hey, this is your <laughs> controller, not me. Don't look at me, buddy. <laughs> A challenge could be collect as many items as possible before the game ends. Yeah, pretty much. The spider's getting to the bottom. It's very... I shoot it sometimes and it doesn't die. I don't know what you're um, supposed to do. It's because there's five guys on the screen. And I'm guessing they're all using the same... See? I I, uh, I shot that guy. Yes. Yeah, so nobody, can, nobody can say that I did not shoot that guy. There's five spiders on the screen. And I'm, they're all using the same player by the frequency of it. Uh, of the flashing. Let me just check. Oh, I can't. It's too big. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. It's all using the same. Uh... So if your bullets. And your bullets is all, are also flashing too, I think. I wondered if you have to hit them with the right color bullets. Hey, are you shooting? Am I? I don't think so. How come I can't uh, turn off? Oh, yeah. Okay, what are your bullets? Missile zero, missile zero, and missile one. So at least one of them should be enabled at all time. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna die again, it's your fault. That's really weird that one of them wouldn't hit it. One of them must have been off to the side. That's the collision problem I had with the uh, Laserman 88. Yes. So I guess the bullets are going fast enough. That one that there it, doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> that it completely misses. It's fast enough going through it that it doesn't lap lap around. So it would have been better for him to use um, software collision in this game rather than relying on hardware collision because hardware collision is untrustworthy. So actually, let's find out which missile. No. No. No, Green Spider, no! Just one second. Yeah, let's start it. So you are player one. So missile one is you. Um, so play the game and fire, fire your thing. Zero disabled. <laughs> uh, so missile missile one should always hit them, but they still have to be on the screen, so it doesn't even matter. Enabled. There we go. So that's terrible. Software collision required here. Yes, 
Yes, I believe so. Because it's just the, the, it went right through the spider. Mm -hmm. But you could build that into the lore of the game, saying the spiders are tricky and they have um, uh, <laughs> temporary cloaking that prevents them from being hit or something. Mm -hmm. it's, you could lie. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's a spider, not a bug. <laughs> um, I mean, are bugs spiders? I'm not an insect, but... So from... They bug me. From his original game that he listed as well, it says, You are a fruit, and you have to hunt the different insects from the orchard where you live, because they want to eat all your friends, the fruits. What to do? Well, throw pips they hate. So apparently, the little dude at the bottom is a is some sort of fruit. He's got a he's got eyes and a smiley face and some sort of handle. It's like a ra uh, like a mouse or a rat. And he's got legs too. I don't know what kind of fruit has legs. Well, any fruit, pick any fruit you want. Anthropomorphized. And if you want it to fight spiders, you better give it some legs. That's true, because he won't be able to move around. Or like a long, snaky body to like slither. undulate, slither around. So what's your that's probably your top score so far. So really, it's good to get it in this pattern. Because this, then you just go back again. This was not an accident. <laughs> it's completely scale. Pure scale. Oh, setting them up this way was. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I, but they're not I, getting any uh, faster. Really, the only challenge is that it doesn't it actually might not hit work. them. <laughs> it's particularly a problem if you have only one shot. That's right, until it resets. Well, now you're catching up a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're behind. You can't miss again. Oh, maybe you can once. There you go. Now you're ahead. Now you're getting ahead. Oh, no. You kind of have to anticipate that you are going to hit and move along, right? Um, well, is there something that, like, hitting them twice, would that be worth it? Because they reappear almost instantly. Like, if you shoot, then shoot again. Uh, I suspect you won't have time for that. No, no, no you don't. don't. Especially if it doesn't work. <laughs> That's right. Uh, no, you don't have time for that. And then they get out of sequence. Uh, no, it stayed in sequence. Uh, but it didn't help, is the point, because like you said, <laughs> they immediately come back. Uh, so what is the point of uh, shooting them again? Yeah. When they're just going to immediately come back. Ah! And they don't get any faster. So I think you've mastered this game now. <laughs> Do I get my patch? Yep. You get your spider patch. <laughs> as soon as you hit 2,000. That's the patch level of this game. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. No! But you hit patch level of 2,000. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. So there's not much more to say about that game. Um, he does have three other Atari 2600 games on his site if you want to download the emulator with the games packed in, which I was not willing to take that risk. So we won't be playing those unless he uh, unpacks those. Um, the next game is RPS. Um, which is by Billy Eno, listed as Billy Eno, but apparently um, it also was made by Bob Montgomery as well. Because I listed that I was going to be playing this yesterday, this game. And somebody said, hey, are you going to be playing that game, RPS? Uh, Nathan Strum, because he did the artwork. And I actually posted ah. his artwork. Um, that he made for the game. This game was never finished. It was planned to be put on cartridge. Um, so Nathan Storm asked me if I, what research I've already done for the game. And I said, oh, well, I've got all these pages. Um, and he said, oh, here's some more uh, background to the game. So I have a ton of information about uh, rock, paper, scissors now. Um, so we will take... RTS is rock. Papers. RPS. RPS. Did I say uh, RTS? No, no. You said it right, oh, and good. I just did the wrong brain thing. The wrong brain. I did thing. the wrong brain thing. So uh, I think I've shown you the like everybody's seen the graphic for it um, before the show. Let me just show it to you again. Minimize that. 
So there's there's the graphic for that he made for the uh, cartridge. cartridge. Yep, very cool. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Then I'm going to show you the additional artwork he made as well for it. That I don't. I guess this would be for the front page of the manual or something because it's not really formatted for a cartridge size. It's more wide. Um, very very cool. Um, about the RPS cart for game labels, it depends on the game. This is posted March eighth, two thousand six, on Nathan Strum's blog. For game labels, it depends on the game. For some, it simply doesn't matter. I pick music to match the mood I happen to be in. But for others, it makes all the difference. Take RPS for example. The whole concept of RPS as a label is to be a parody of an anime TV series called R.O.D. The TV. I'll go more into that story behind that in a future entry since this will have more to do with the animation than the music and it's more involved than what I have to write about right now. Um, so this is actually based on this drawing. You can see this one has a rock, one has paper, throwing papers I guess, and one has some scissors. Now, I wouldn't be too worried about the person with the paper. I would be worried uh, about the I scissors. Suspect, I suspect that's because you are not familiar with the game. Paper <laughs> is deadly rock. to rock. It's deadly that's to rock. True. But I would definitely rather have a rock in this situation. Uh, the rock is a projectile. You could throw the scissors, but I think the rock would be better as a projectile. Have you never had a paper cut? They Brutal. are... Brutal. And scissors? Scissors are so often so dull that you'd have difficulty cutting yourself, but a paper cut? True. Whoosh. Like, you, if you could run scissors across your hand and run a piece of paper across your hand. Obviously, if you sharpened them and had yeah, really yeah. sharp scissors, but, but typical average scissors. average scissors yeah. that you just take out of a drawer that you cut random. Or that you allow children to have. And they cut terrible <laughs> things with them, and there's indents and stuff. They cut paper, but only with great effort. I would say a paper would cut your hand. Mm -hmm. more often with less pressure mm -hmm. than scissors. Although that's a bit unfair because too much pressure might protect you from being cut by the paper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I've been more accidentally cut by paper than I have by scissors. I don't like a hundred percent guarantee. I don't know if I've, I've been ever cut. been accidentally injured by a rock. <laughs> Oh yeah, paper Tri is tripping definitely over a rock. Paper is like, definitely the most has drawn the most blood yes. and and bruising from me out of all those Not things. Bruising. No Not bru bruising. No, I, I blood. Ne yes, definitely. Hundred percent. Paper is the most deadly. I'm talking about when you these. take bruising and bleeding and combine them. <laughs> when applying them to these three things, paper is the most the most egregious of the three. Oh yeah. Because I don't Definitely. know if I've ever cut myself with scissors. Possibly, but I don't think so. And no. rock, I don't think I've ever hurt myself with a rock. You must have, you know... Certainly not accidentally. Oh, uh, accidentally you don't count more the so. If the ground the is a rock... No, rock, yeah, a, rock a rock, with a rock... You, you step on one and you're... Not your step on, this is not... <laughs> she's holding... This is not a... Is an object in the universe and did you, like, run into it? <laughs> this is... Did, it, did an object run into you? The rock has to hit you to count. By somebody throwing it. Or just falling off a ledge or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever been injured by a rock falling off a ledge. I don't think I've ever been injured by someone somebody throwing, throwing a rock. Somebody throwing? I don't think so. Maybe. 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 I was I'd skipping stones have... like a year ago yeah, and those I accidentally water. threw a rock and hit my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm not water. I was, I was throwing it hard to skip it. So oh he was like, God. oh, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> uh, mean. And they're spinning. He did not deserve it. I'm sorry. And they're yeah. usually on a on a, a thin edge when you're skipping a rock, so it's more deadly. It and sometimes small, has though. like, oh, okay, that's great. Well, not super small. Scissors? No, I don't think. I may have been cut by scissors, but I can't remember. But I definitely know hundreds of times, probably hundreds. Uh, your, hundred. your original point has to be defended, I guess, if. As these people are using them, wielding. if you are wet wielding them, then I think paper is weakest. Then you have to be yes. You have to be. You have to have some serious skill to like yeah. wound an opponent with paper. You could make it into a throwing star, and you could put little pins in the end of it. <laughs> Rust. Sorry, Three I'm at you. weeks <laughs> thrust in the. Oh, well, that's it, not right. Did you cut them with paper later? <laughs> and I beat, beat uh, I'm sorry there. that you were in the hospital for three weeks. That's not funny. No, it's not. 
And people have been killed on overpasses throwing rocks into cars, like big ones. Yeah. yeah, and bricks and stuff. So they're very, very deadly. Out of all three intentional weapons, probably more people have been killed by rocks. Yeah. For sure. Uh, in landslides. Oh, definitely, because, like, if we go through history, yeah. stoning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stones have been That's around for true. way longer than paper and scissors. They they yeah. got they got it beat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tied to sticks yeah. and, yeah, and just thrown as weapons. Um, so, rock hand number- axes. Oh, those okay. are around for millions of years. Literally millions of years. Yes. Yeah. Smashing skulls and all. <laughs> Woof. Yeah. Rock scissors. Wind. Probably employed as weapons. But not very But mostly much. as murder weapons. And yeah. Impromptu murder weapons. Like grab... Yeah. As mostly opposed in movies. to... Mostly like in if movies. we don't count like warfare as murder, which we don't. grasping while you're being held down. The scissors are on a table. Yeah. Yes. Three very boring weeks with terrible food. <laughs> yeah, hospital food. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, get on with the stories about rock, paper, scissors while you play. Uh, so let's look at the first incarnation of rock, paper, scissors because um, uh, I was sent over four that four incarnations of rock, paper, scissors by Nathan Strum that I didn't have before. So the original was made by Bla- uh, Billy Eno, uh, the first two ones that I have, and then the last two ones, it was taken over by... Bob Montgomery. So this first one is a uh, no player one. (laughs) (laughs) But I mean, why not? Have it play itself. I have to say this is very different from the cover art. (laughs) It's very, very different. Disembodied hands. There are no anime girls uh, playing rock, scissors, paper here. None to be found whatsoever. I mean, I guess those could be their hands. Those could be their hands, yeah. And you have to use your imagination with Atari games. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, actually, they are actually really good uh, hands, hands, though. Yeah. Let's just see them. Like, there's no question. There's no, like, what is that? Yeah, and they're drawn by I a, mean, a player I, character. I mean, for a yeah. moment, the 13-year-old in me is like, what is the hand doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, from Wikipedia, rock, paper, scissors, also known as scissors, rock, paper, no. Paper, rock, scissors, no. And scissors, paper, stone. No. Rock, scissors, paper. How would you say it? Like, this is rock, paper, scissors. I think that's the normal one. Yeah, rock, but paper, it's, like I think rock, scissors, paper is in my head too. And rock, scissors, paper? Yeah. I think rock, paper, scissors might be the most popular and therefore yeah, will that, win the, the, the vote on which one's right. But, but that's, that's how it lists, it's listed on Wikipedia. Rock, paper, scissors is a hand game usually played between two people in which each player simultaneously forms one of the three shapes. Scissor, paper, rock. Scissor, paper, rock. Oh. Er, rock, paper, scissors. So he accidentally typed it. And then he typed it the way we're saying it. Because <laughs> at first I thought he was like, oh no, I say it differently. But then he's, he confirms that he says it exactly as we announced it. <laughs> Is this rock, paper, scissors for people without hands? Uh, yeah, this is, this is <laughs> because you could, this is rock, paper, scissors for people without, uh, an ability to play. And anyway, it's just for, for it. This is the witness. This is the, what do you call it? Spectator. Spectator, Spectator sports. That's yeah. right. It, you could bet on this. You could bet on the computer playing it. It slowed down. It did. Yeah. Green is winning. I'll, I'll uh, by a fairly healthy margin. Yeah. What? They both. Oh, you get points for tying. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's it doesn't fine. matter. It doesn't matter no, which, doesn't. as long as you're consistent. Uh, these shapes are rock, a closed fist, paper, a flat hand, and scissors, a fist with index finger and middle finger extended, forming a V. Scissors is identical to two-fingered V sign, all indicating victory or peace, mm. except that it's pointing horizontally instead of being held right upright in the air, and that's also a filthy indicator from Britain. <laughs> or... A peace sign. Peace. This is victory, peace. victory, or peace, peace, peace. Um, a simultaneous. Do you have to do this. Uh, you or don't can... have to. You can do this. I've seen that a bit. <laughs> I mean, that's a definite indication of what you're doing. Uh, a simultaneous zero sum game. It has only two possible outcomes: a draw or a win for one player and a loss for the other. Uh, 
and this was displayed in VG Dallas 2005 at the Atari Age booth. And it, there was a write-up on one of the pages on the Atari Age, on Atari Age. The Atari 2600 won't any, win any awards for raw computing horsepower, but there's one game that's well suited to its AI capabilities. <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors. You heard right. Billy Eno, authoring of Warring Worms, The Worm Returns, has developed a version of this classic schoolyard game for the Atari 2600. Would you believe there's a world rock, paper, scissors society? Unfortunately, its website is down. It says, we'll be back. And it has... Like, just hand doing this over and over again. It's quite quite good, but there's nothing there. Um, including tournaments held at both local and international levels. Gameplay works as follows, we know. Um, oh, the gameplay on this. Oh, we'll get into that. Uh, game variations including single-player mode. Uh, we'll get into that, blah, blah, blah. RPS will be available soon after the Dallas VG Expo. No. 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 It was a lie. It was never available. You can pre-order. They even took pre-orders for this. <laughs> Hopefully it was just a list of names. And and sometimes it is just a list of names, not money. Um, in our store. Nope, it was. And it'll be shipped to you as soon as it's available. Did anybody uh, order rock, paper, scissors and never get it? And did you get a refund? Uh, author Billy Eno will be present at the show demonstrating RPS in person. Um, I looked at the archive.org at Billy Eno's defunct website for more information about this. So I got it off of archive.org. Um, Rock, Paper, Scissors, a new game for the Atari 2600 from Baroque Gaming. RPS is a classic game and what better place to implement than a classic video game system? A clever AI is in the works using every ounce of the Atari 2600 <laughs> awesome computing hey, power. green is the better one. By far. It's so. just getting further ahead. Have you have you watched videos on um, artificial intelligence, uh, computer learning, uh, on how they like play multiple games using different tactics, mm -hmm. and then take the knowledge from the one that did best, and then do um, evolutionary iterations from that one off of that. Um, probably more famous ones are like simulated walking. And then they go, okay, which one made it the furthest walking? And then they branch off um, the AI using that seed. Mm -hmm. And then it gets better and better and better. And they've applied that to video game playing as well. It's like, okay, here's, say, Pac-Man, which has only four directions. You could go at any time. Mm -hmm. um, you set up, I think you can set up basics usually you want to set up as little as possible to let the ai take over you set up goals and you set up enemies like things to avoid and things to get mm -hmm. and also a goal and your your maximizing goal your maximizing goal is points um so that's all it tells it and it tells it how it can move left right up and down and it lets it go during using no knowledge because that's what you have to do with first iteration and it goes doo -doo -doo, goes crazy just random you know left right left right and then it's and then you stop it at some point it's like oh i've done 50 iterations from that knowledge and then it takes the best one and branches off from there and does it over and over and over again and there's lots of great videos on this using different games mm -hmm. um one was Asteroids, one was Pac-Man. They're usually with 80s games because there's very simple rules to define. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun watching it. I mean, these are run over days of, of learning over and over again. And if anybody has done click where the street signs are and click where the stop signs are, which are cars, which are buses, which are bicycles, yeah. um, you are contributing to that yeah, yeah. AI ecosystem for self-driving cars. That's right, what right. that is for. It's not arbitrary. Not just generally speaking, but yeah. Uh, which are cats? They don't care about cats pictures. They care about. <laughs> it used to be like that kind of thing. It used to be like cats. And yeah. It used yeah. to be words, and that was not arbitrary either. It was for scanning in uh, documents. Like OCR. And, yeah, OCR yeah, yeah. for Google's yeah. um, mass. OCR project of archiving yeah. every book known to man. Yeah. 
And now Google is using, or other systems are, are using that to learn the world around us, concentrating on cars first. Um, I've never seen it say click on pedestrians though. <laughs> so as of right now, they don't really care about pedestrians. <laughs> um, actually, probably because pedestrians move and yeah, the other yeah. things don't move. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to... It might be easy to tell a pedestrian when they're moving because yes. the motion might be yeah. oh tracked yeah when you might be able to like pick like track the motion and go oh that's a person yeah or but if you've ever now. seen those videos of cars driving and it has like the squares moving over moving things yeah the moving things are no problem for the cars mm. of and course if a stance, pedestrian isn't moving then they're not uh hopefully not. <laughs> unless, unless they're <laughs> standing in the middle of the road but which anything, can happen but anything standing in the middle of the road is an obstacle to stop for yeah a stunned deer it's like the it's the <laughs> It's the predicting where someone's going to walk that matters. If they're already on the road, you stop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is the next. See, I think I think that it. red. I think what it, like when I looked. Oh, I didn't up, even see the end score. It was green stayed about four or five ahead of red, and sometimes got further. But I don't think it ever got worse than four ahead of red. Mm. I think it. So it went back and forth. Yeah. yeah. I think it just got a lucky... Which is to say that they were very evenly matched because... It got a lucky waffled. streak. Yeah, it got a lucky streak right and, at the beginning. And it stayed. Yeah, yeah, and it stayed. It kept it, yeah. <clears throat> right, it's catching up to green. Okay, uh, and this one is a little bit further on. <clears throat> I'll go up to my other notes here. Um, this one is from 2006. The first one was 2005, uh, July 18th. The earliest uh, binary plays itself. This one's from 2006, uh, May 6th. The last build from uh, Billy Eno still has his graphics. So you should be able to play it now. Uh, maybe I have to set it. There we go. So, so you, you can set it to... Oh, I have to plug in the other joystick. This is no. a two-player game. You play um, the computer first to 99. Are you going to play or are you going to put it to the... Human and Joe. Okay. Okay, I have to start it. You want it first to ninety nine? Sure. Okay. See how far you ahead you can get. Um, what do you do now? I believe nothing is rock. Left is scissors and right is paper. Wait, which am I? You're at the top because you put human first. What did you press? Right. Yep. Okay. So scissors to the right. Paper to the left. Try left. Worked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in, July no. in July 2005, after doing the label for Warring Worms, this is uh, Nathan Strum's uh, uh, words, uh, Billy asked me to create a label for the 2600 version of Rock, Paper, Scissors, titled RPS. The whole point was to be humorously over the top with it. No. Much like the World RPS Society. Oh, I got his leg kicking. Yeah, go, go, kitten, go. Um, I submitted several designs for it. He chose the anime-themed, which was my favorite, parodying oh. RDS, the TV. Short for Ready or Die, the TV series. You're losing. Get better. Oh, Ty. Rock always wins, so you should just stay on Rock. Um, oh, Ty. This is where the name RPS the 2600 originated, since that seemed appropriately goofy, and it was a nice nod to the source material. Oh, I pressed! <laughs> but I was too late. I mean, he can't see it, so you can press long before. Yeah, but the thing is, I was worried that it would know. Uh, it shouldn't be cheating. It could be cheating, but it shouldn't. <laughs> uh, in August 2005, at his request, it began drawing new sprites for the hands to better match the label. He created the original graphics. Unfortunately, right around that time, he had an Excel crash and that took out all of his graphics data for the game. And at that point, development stalled. I finished the label artwork in November 2005. Billy asked me to create the manual, which was approximately 80% done by December 2005. I've attached the intentionally pretentious manual text, written by me with a gameplay terminology borrowed from the World RPS Society. And we'll get into that in a bit. Nothing much happened after that. I checked in with Billy in April 2006 about progress. And it was that at this time, Billy gave me the permission to find someone else to work on the sound, since there was none in the game. So there's none in the game right now. 
Uh, Billy had become too busy to devote his time working on the game, so I approached Bob Montgomery, who I'd been working on Reindeer Rescue, among other games. He was willing to give the audio a shot. The last build I had from Billy was from May of that year. This is the one we're playing. Um, this build still has Billy's original graphics and added different opponents that could be selected. Human for one-on-one -on -one play, but there's nothing different about any of the selectable opponents. Just name, I guess. And it doesn't even show the name here. The idea was to have them play different uh, based on their personalities, featuring gambits as laid out by the World uh, RPS Society. AIs for this? No, there's no AIs in this game. I don't know how you'd implement... You could implement AIs based on history of what you have chosen. Like, if you chose Brock three times in a row, it might be beneficial to the AI to choose something that... to choose paper to beat Rock. Or maybe it's beneficial not to choose paper because you're trying to trick the computer thinking that you're going to do Rock. <laughs> and he should actually choose something different. Be it interesting, I'm sure the the World RPS Society, I'm sure there's lots of things written about rock, paper, scissors, and strategies. I don't know if there is a strategy for like... I'm consistently like going down, like I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're losing against random chance, but is it much more than random? Because when you're actually playing rock, paper, scissors, and you go like this... There has to be some timing by the judges that you can't just go like this and wait for paper and go like that at the last second. Because if you go like this and he does rock, do nothing. You tie. You're good. If you go like this and he does this, scissors, mm -hmm. you stay rock as well and you're good. If you go like this... And if you ever see paper, like he starts turning like that, you could go like that the last second. So there has to be some judging. It's like the time delay between them throwing it and you throwing it has to be so minimal. Yeah. So, right? <laughs> so that is the only thing. That's the only way I can see you doing it because you can't reverse out of a paper. And you can't reverse out of scissors. But you can reverse out of a rock. Because rock is default. And you go scissors for a paper. But obviously against the computer, you can't see a paper coming. You have to also anticipate. Um, by the end of May, Bob's brother Tommy had crafted an amazing 2600 rendition of the theme R.O.D. From the OVA, not the TV series for you anime nitpickers. I've attached that as well. From apart from that, there is no progress on the game. So let's uh, get it, go over. The A must be cheating. Is there a rule the players can't look? I don't think there is. We'll, we'll you get... could do that if and it was it, a problem. Yeah, you, that blindfold. <laughs> but It doesn't really work. It's in my book. They play rocks to paper in the dark. and Oh, as soon as they, well, how do you, as soon as they come up with sufficient sufficient rules to to circumvent cheating, yeah. they just got bored and stopped playing. But if you're playing it in the <laughs> if you're playing it in the dark, how you could just say rock scissors paper, right? You wouldn't you even be it. doing it. Yeah. You could say okay. it. You could just say or it. scissors or rock. rock or you go like this on the person, uh, like yeah, on the other person yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, music that Bob Montgomery's uh, brother Tommy made for the game. It never got incorporated into um, the game, but here is the music. And the beat music is from the TV show, the anime. I won't play the original one because this you'll get flying. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go search it out for yourself. Um, from the anime R.O.D. It's a really good rendition. So it won't it's get flagged nice... from this? No, it's not close enough. <laughs> we'll see. Not that I care. I don't monetize these videos anyway. The, wor the What will happen 
is that there will be an ad if it does get flagged. Yeah, yeah. And I won't make any money from it. The person who flagged it will make money from the ad that you guys will be forced to watch. It's messing up my video quality. <laughs> yeah, because there's so much going on on the screen, it has to compress every frame of that. So we're gonna get all munched up. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, still going. Um, he says, I kept revisiting and revising the label artwork sporadically over the next few years. I'm never happy with anything I created. And by June 2009, I had something I liked better. And that's what we showed off the top of the show. I think it's looped now. Hello, Gix1978. He's another developer that we uh, played his game last week or a couple weeks before. I don't know if this is even available online. Not sure. Hopefully Nathan Strum will post all this online if it's not already available. I was about to call my ISP. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Everything's good here. You can see it in the background. Oh, uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> they can still hear it, too. Okay. I think it's looped. If not, that's enough. <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know the song well enough. Um, Do I not adjust your set. Yeah. <laughs> we control the horizontal. We control the vertical. I checked in with Billy about the progress of the game, and he confirmed that he wouldn't be completing it. His interest has simply gone elsewhere, and happens as happens with hobbies. But he gave me permission to complete the game with someone else, so I asked Bob uh, if he wanted to continue it, and he made some progress, adding some of the new hand sprites and the title screen graphics that I created. So let's take a look at that one. This is from uh, 2011, January 14th. I believe this one is the one that's widely available, because uh, it really does match what I had uh, already in my... Where's my mouse? So, RPS the 2600 by B. Eno and Strum and B. Montgomery. So, new graphics, new title screen. Looks like a little bit of different menu. Uh, Joe versus the human. I have to start it still. Ah, I see. Ah. Oh, you picked... You should be number one, not number two. So, it should be human versus Joe if you want. But I want it to be to use joystick number one. Oh, I see. Well, we'll have to plug in the other joysticks. No, we'll it's go fine. head to head. It's fine. We don't need. To... <laughs> there's no value there. <laughs> no, there's no value there. Yes, you're ahead. Maintain that. Maintain your lead. No. Oh. Damn it. Tied now. Okay, continuing on with the story. The theme ne music never got incorporated into the game, and development stalled, and Bob also became busy with real life. There are all sorts of unrealized plans for RPS, including Atari Vox support, a tournament mode where you played through a successively harder AI. So apparently there is some AI that could be implemented. Because rather than random guessing, there are, like, you could figure out streaks, or you could have the AI do paper, 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 scissors! Something like that, right? Uh, yep, a role-playing game where the where the fights are all rock, paper, scissors. Uh, that's funny. Of course, that went nowhere, but it's still in the back of my mind. It'd be fun to complete this someday. I wonder if John likes rock, paper, scissors. John Shampo. <laughs> I've attached the following binaries, this one. And this, he says, this is the last build by Von Montgomery featuring my graphics, although only the male hands are there. There is supposed to be a user-selectable female set of hands. Um, what, how would it change? I don't know. It's, I have no idea. They'd be thinner, smaller hands, maybe. Yes. No idea. <laughs> you could just change them up. Different colors? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there is bleed on the bottom there. I noticed yep. A little bit of bleed changes the color. A little bit of color timing's a bit off there. <clears throat> Um, so let's read the manual, even though I think <laughs> we're pretty clear on how to win, how to play. Oh, Nathan Strom made it. Hey, I all just got here in time to hear the end of my own message to James. Yeah, like just, 
just because we're done that now. Um, so let's read the manual. So I think that'll be more. F that'll be fun to read. Introduction: Since the dawn of time, or at least since the invention of scissors <laughs> and epics. Yep, hands were always there. Paper was always there. Rocks are always there. Oh, well, paper. paper. Yeah, I don't scissors. know which would have been first. I would think scissors. Some shears form of might scissors. have been first, but they wouldn't be scissors. They wouldn't be what we call scissors. They'd be like mm. shears of some sort. Yeah. I don't know if they would have been, been first. Got to look that up after this. Mm. Like, did they make any sort of shears out of bronze? I doubt it, but they had paper during the Bronze Age. Because scissors would be defined as, like, two blades attached with a hinge. I think they had paper. Pretty much. Some sort of paper. Paper's pretty old, but I think scissors are definitely I don't know, but older. it depends on how how specific you're going with the definition of paper because <laughs> is, uh, what do you call it, the the stuff made from reeds, is that paper? I would say so. I would say. For the purposes of this argument, I would have yeah. thought so too. Papyrus! Some, papyrus, yeah, exactly. Papyrus, papyrus rock, rock shears. shears. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same, P-R-S. <laughs> and it matches. Huge thumbs up. Huge thumbs up to Thunkus. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. You could have different versions of the game. <laughs> Papyrus rock shears. The scissors would have been last. You couldn't have rock, paper, scissors until you had... Ah! It was, I, I, think it, that. I think originally it was rock, rock, rock. I gotta uninstall that garbage, whatever that is. Until you had all three. Well, if you named it rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock, had, rock. Rock, rock, rock. Bonk! Smash, smash, smash. Oh, rock. you hit my leg and I hit you in the head. I win! <laughs> rock, rock, rock. <laughs> but if it was rock papyrus shears, which would have been invented first? Can anybody look that up? Uh, whether papyrus was invented first or shears? What do you think? I think shears. Because no, I think been, papyrus. Because they would because have been cutting skin of animals. They with, would just use shears. a blade. Yeah. Because shears requires flexibility. I don't think you could do it with bronze. No, I think you need. Too soft? I think you need steel. You probably need steel. Maybe not. You might be able to do it with iron, but I think you might need steel for. No, nah, I don't know. Iron. Whatever. I don't think that. I don't think they made shears with uh, bronze. Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. Probably not. I don't so know. it was bronze, iron, then steel. Yes. Well, because steel is iron. Right. It's just iron with a specific amount of carbon in it. All right, so it could have been Whereas made in iron age. Iron is just is just iron without a specific amount of carbon. <laughs> <laughs> and is iron before paper? Did iron get created before paper? I think paper has been around for a long time. Long time. Some sort of like writing, anyways. Like, like, even, like even clay tablets, you could call paper. Yeah, like uh, stuff that I just mean like no, the sh the, if, sh if the you're... shears has to cut through the paper, so it has to be a paper paper, not a tablet. Yeah, but I think that papyrus has been around for a long time. I think before, I think so. because the Iron Age, the Iron Age is not like long, not mm. super long ago. Like the the Greeks used bronze. We've got some. Did the Greeks the not have papyrus? I'm sure they oh, had papyrus, yeah. right? And they were like using even, bronze. Even tree, like the thin tree bark and yeah. a burnt stick, could be earliest known scissors. Three to four thousand years ago, and what is the earliest known? And and, and four thousand years ago is only two thousand BC, and yeah. I think there was. I don't oh. know, but I suspect there was papyrus before that. Probably. Yeah. There was writing. Yeah, there was writing, yeah. Uh, I imagine writing... I don't know. <laughs> I guess you'd have writing, writing. Before, you had pa before you had some sort of paper-like oh, thing. Yeah, you could write on walls with yeah. burnt sticks. Um, and obviously tablets as well. Or your friend's face while they're sleeping. Yes. With just coal. Oh. Like charcoal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I put a penis on his cheek. <laughs> He's so foolish. <laughs> this is the symbol for penis. Sleek, sleeping frog <laughs> is so foolish. <laughs> Since the dawn of time, an epic secret, epic secret war between the forces of good and evil has raged on. For countless generations, powerful warriors have carried on these secret battles, while the world at large remains blissfully unaware. Continents would be would tremble, kingdoms would fall, kids would decide who would go first. Now, with the fair, very fate of the world hanging in the balance, your help is needed. The way of these warriors have been revealed to you, and only you at last. An ancient way of embodying the primal forces of the elements themselves. The elements of earth, the elements of nature, and of forged steel. This, then, is the way of rock, paper, scissors. 
Using your joystick control, blah, 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 no safety, no safety scissors allowed. Please do not use actual rocks or scissors while playing the game. Doing so can damage your RPS game cartridge. Broke gaming and Atari age are not responsible for any damage incurred due to playing RPS improperly. Please also refrain from using actual pieces of paper. Did it mention to be careful? Okay, yeah. During this could give you a really nasty paper cut. Yes, yes. Uh, Hunter, master of rock. Although her pleasant demeanor seems at odd with coarse hard rock, when you least expect it, she'll unleash an avalanche upon you. Rachel, master of paper. Often underestimated much as the paper itself, but she is equal of any opponent and is covered and has you covered in a fight. <laughs> Sarah, master of scissors. Uh, see? They named Rachel master of paper instead of Rachel rock. And Sarah, they got right. Sarah, master of scissors. Mm -hmm. It should have... R. And who's the master of... Oh, see, Hunter. A Hunter, master of rock. Should have been Rachel, master no, of rock. No, it's only if they changed Hunter to something else. Because yeah. otherwise it would be weird that Rachel was rock yeah. and Sarah was scissors, but that Hunter was well, paper. Not... Would be like, well, you'd oh, be yeah. raging about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. And Sarah, master of scissors, a quiet aggression of scissors, personified quick wit, quick and sharp-witted. Her crafty skills can cut you to ribbons. Ivan, the master of RPS, the ultimate opponent. Little is known of this enigmatic figure, except that he has mastered all three elements of RPS. Fears neither rock, paper, nor scissors. So they did have bronze uh, uh, scissors. 1500. Yeah. Okay, so... But still, they would have had... They had... Paper. We I'm, need I paper think, information now. But I think now. papyrus has been around long time, longer. Yeah. Clay writing. No, it has to be papyrus. It has to be thin, cuttable things. But also, things. it's the ancient. That's the ancient Egyptians. Yeah. And it said that ancient Egyptian. Oh, I thought it said most. Never Single mind. piece of metal fashioned into two blades. That's what it had uh, to have yeah. flex, right? Because it oh, didn't have controlled a, by a metal strap. Because it didn't those. have a. I've they seen didn't those. have a joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are scissors. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, game is started when both players are holding their fire buttons down. This causes the fists to rise or start the prime. Once one of these players releases their fire button, the downstroke begins. Oh. Which sets the timing of the subsequent primes. This is for two players. Uh, during the final stroke, there are the approach. The players choose their final throw by putting le left for paper, right for scissors, nothing for rock. Winners indicate on screen. Game variations including single player mode and for choosing number of rounds several computer computer opponents to choose from you'll never be short of competition uh oh dub of rod okay that's why maggie michelle and anita okay now it doesn't say if there's any ai in this nathan is there actual ai between it, uh the other opponents because it no. says it says ivan is the ultimate opponent ah so well, maybe the joe is just random like me <laughs> Yeah. And then Ivan is thinking. Yeah. Hi. Maybe. The cats. Oh, the door's open. The cats haven't been bothering us. That's good. Um, so to give it the this game its full run, we're going to actually play two players for a very short period of time. Because we wouldn't want to miss that out. I, okay. Then we'll move on. Sure. <laughs> We've spent a disproportionate amount of time on... Uh, uh, incredibly simple game <laughs> which is hilarious uh oh here's troublemaker am I gonna get second player is it gonna work without resetting we'll see we will see okay okay you might have to set this to human human and if it doesn't work I have to reset okay oh it works. Tie. So we both have to prime it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew you were going to do rock. Because you I saw that imagine. rock is nothing and I was looking over there. Nope. <laughs> Not cheating. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have to prime it. 
Uh, the first paper making process was documented in China during the Eastern Han period. Oh, not too long ago. Traditionally attributed to the court official. Da 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 da. Did you play Dommy's music? Oh, we did. We definitely did before this. We did all in, in order of the things you sent us. May you post a link if it is related to uh, homebrew gaming or rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> or something really, really interesting. Oh, no. You're beating me. Uh, <laughs> are you just randomly doing it? Was that I don't random? know, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smash. <laughs> That's a good way of doing it. I just ended up with that, actually. That was random, <laughs> that one. Yeah, it's not a shame. I don't think you'll get rock, though, uh, if you do that too much. Well, you're in the middle, so it's about... If you go back and forth? Is that yeah, what you're yeah. doing? That's what I was doing, yeah. Okay, let's try that. But we haven't gotten rock so far doing it that way. No, because I think... Oh, you're not in there's... the middle very long, are you? No, it's like nothing is um, is hard to get when you're... Well, it's hard to get when you're in the middle. Because it's going to be one or the other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Play to 15. Uh -huh. Tied. Money rock scissors? Money rock scissors. And there's a huge variation in this silly one Spock lizard paper rock phaser. I can't remember all of them. There's like nine of them. Game point. <gasps> Real game point now. You win. Victorious. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, thank you for posting the official history of rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Now we'll move on to our fourth game. Which is... Uh, game catcher. Game catcher. Game catcher. Catch all the games. Mm. Catch every single one of those games. I gotta say, the first game I I thought for a moment, oh, is this game catcher? Because <laughs> 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 we were trying to collect all the games. Oh yeah, it could have been. Uh, go back to my notes. Where are my notes? There they are. Uh, thank you, Nathan, for sending in all that information, the background about rock, paper, scissors. It is always very, very interesting to uh, hear the history of how thing, how games are made. Um, actually, uh, also for that, for rock, paper, scissors, Albert posted in 2009, RPS is fairly close to being done. I actually spoke to Billy Eno a few, a few months ago about completing it. It's something you'd like to do, but real job, real life got in the way. At this point, I'm not sure if uh, when and if the game will be completed. I hope so. It's a pretty amusing concept. The label is complete and even the manual is done. Um, so it never got completed. There were pre-orders taken. It got like that close to being done. I mean, it's it's practically done. Um, you just need to fix up some of the graphics. A little oh, bit the glitchy. little bleeding there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's got a title screen. I mean, you had it would be good to incorporate the music into the title screen. That would be good. Um, that's that's it. That's all you need, really. Um, Game Catcher 2600, uh, 2012 by Tom O'Neill, a.k.a. Laudmott, who is in... Oh, there we go, in the chat. Uh, oh, good. He uh, put some instructions, because I don't think I have any instructions for this. This is good. Um, this was first posted January 29th, 2012, and this build is from March 29th, 2012. It's a 32K... Uh, F4 game, other games he's made, Auto Mayhem, AVGN, Car Craze, Game Catcher 2600, and Ghost, Ghost and Quad Ball. We will get it up. Game Catcher. Not Gate Crasher. That's nope. different. That's totally different. Similar. Don't press it. Uh, 
ModMod posted January 29th, 2012. Here's my next project. Stepping it up a bit. It's called Gamecatcher 2600. Back in 2004, I made a game I'm for the... I'm going to press fire now. Sure. It's coming through. Oh. Sorry. There we go. One player. Oh, it's a two-player game. Uh, good. That might be a bit loud. Oh, this game, you're supposed to hit the things. <laughs> As opposed to the other one. Sorry. I took it away. Uh, as opposed to the other one where you're not supposed to hit the things. Well, as a rule. <laughs> as a rule, avoid everything. And it's got good in-game music, too. Really good. What is even happening here? Uh, it, it involved the player collecting games that were flying around. And they had to collect 100 games before the picky customers were all avoiding running out of cash. It's an original game of mine and decided to try and port it to the 2600. Uh, so he's got a working one-player, two-player menu, uh, gameplay with smooth color graph colorful gaf graphics. He also uh, provided a link to the original game he made. Uh, this could be very faithful to my original game. Updates. Uh, all right. Oh, well, so far I've had little to no suggestions from people, so I'm going to assume everyone likes the game the way it is and call this game finalized. <laughs> no complaints. Must be perfect. It's <laughs> a good good assumption. Did I win? Oh. Well, it says you have to get to 100 and you got 25. Nobody well, likes it when you tell me I didn't win. No, you won. <laughs> um, I'm still open to suggestions, though, just in case somebody wants to post something. I know the ROM is still called beta, but I don't really have time to change at the moment because I have to work soon. <laughs> so I hope you guys like the game. So he posted, uh, you're an avid gamer. Post in the chat, you're an avid gamer at your local mall. On the prowl for many games as possible. Basically, the object of the game is to catch more games flying colored uh, squares than the other people, referred to as the picky customers. You also have to make sure you don't run out of money, the green number in the middle. Oh, okay. The money uh, is the smaller squares that appear and don't move at all. Oh, so you have to collect the small squares too. Get that green money. Get the green money. No. Oh, so you spend money catching them. Oh, you're out of money. That's really cool. So you have to get those uh, green squares of money in order to catch the other things. So if you run out of money, the game is over. I think so I won the other one between. maybe because the other player ran out of money. Because uh, this time it ended on a different amount. And it was brownie face because I ran out of money. Well, there's only one listing of money. So if we play two players... No, no, it says first level is 25, next level is 50. Oh, so that means that the first okay. level I won and the second level I lost because I ran out of money because I refused right. to pick up cash. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, like, I don't know if that's normal to like base your game collection on money you found in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough go. It's a tough, it's a tough, be, you'd be, that's a tough taking income a, stream. Taking a while to build up your game collection. A bit more instructions. Also, two-player mode, which we're going to play now, where you can go against the other player. I don't quite remember the other features in the game, but I think the black and white uh, switch alternates between in-game sound effects and in-game music. Okay. Pennies from the fountain. <laughs> that's a slow go. Well. And you also have to avoid uh, mall guards. That'd be a fun thing. You'd have, like, the fountain over here, and you have to go get the money, and the mall guard tries to get you, and then you have to go back to the store and collect the games. Hi. Oh, Blinkies. Hello, man. Okay, let's do it. Press the button. I think you're in control of the two-player. Okay, who am I? I am blue. Oh, different music. Very cool. So I think we're just... I don't know if there's any money, because no nothing's come up. There's 20 on the bottom of the screen. Money's not changing, and I haven't seen any money up here. I think maybe you're just trying to get his, get more than the other person. And there's a cap. We'll see if the cap misbehaves. Ah, ah. They move exactly the same speed as you. Yeah, you can't chase them. <laughs> if they're gone, they're gone. You have to... Oh. Oh, so rounds. So I won the first round. There's still 20. I don't know what that 20 is. Oh, is that how many you have to get? Ah, so it's first two. Oh, oh, I'm confused. We were right on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not good 
uh, at this uh, motion thing, I'm like, I'm doing the dumb thing over and over again. Like, I think in two two mo two player mode, there's no money. Yeah, it's just first to twenty. Um, and there's rounds. We'll see how many rounds there are. So far, it's is this the third round. My strategy is basically stay in one spot with enough room to anticipate the and stay in the middle and catch them as they approach you. I have a new no strategy strategy. <laughs> oh, you won. Yeah. I used my no strategy strategy. What it what is that? Just hanging out in the middle of the screen doing nothing. Oh, you just heading straight down. Uh I'm going to not do that strategy. <laughs> Interesting. I think being towards more of the middle provides more opportunity to head off the games. about your no strategy it worked you the first four. time but this time it didn't work very well at all so three to one now i just had the wrong pacing that's all i gotta find the right uh <laughs> that's true if you get the right pacing you'll hit all of them that's what happened before <laughs> i was just, I ah. just rolling in psst, psst, psst. stop it bad cat cats love atari games because they're so contrasty. Big uh, characters on simple backgrounds, like single color backgrounds. Uh -oh, catching up. Ah! So, four. Nobody likes you. Four to one. Maybe it just goes forever, because there's two digits at least. We'll go at least ten. Or it could be just two digits, default. I did all the music myself and the game. Great music, good stuff, and uh, very fun, very fun game. I do like uh, the single player quite a bit. I, I want to play that after because it's a, a balancing game. You can't run out of money, and you can actually accidentally kill yourself by hitting the games too much and running out of money. Like that. I prefer to be uh, independently wealthy. <laughs> and just getting all the games you want. Oh! Nope. Okay. Goes forever. Okay, I want to play single player. I was going to say I'm winning, but then you, you're you collecting just as many as me by sitting there! <laughs> <laughs> Both sit there. See how we do it. Evenly sit there. Oh! You got... Oh! You're ahead. would be better if the scores corresponded to the colors. Your score is blue, and you're the black character. Yeah, My score weird. is red. <laughs> I'm that the is blue weird. character. It's is is very strange. Weird. And then we change colors <laughs> when we get the smiley faces that still don't correspond. No, the with smiley the face is based on whether you won or lost. Right. You're that side of the screen, so you got a green smiley because mm. you won. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the right hand side. I'm like just in the corner. Well, your blue matches now. No, I'm Are black. You? Oh, sorry. It doesn't match. <laughs> it's funny, for a little while there, I, I, I was cruising and then nothing. Yeah, so probably an improvement if you're going to continue on with the game, definitely match up the characters to the right colors. And, and then at the end of the game, have the smiley faces be the same colors as well. Because blue and black, like, there's a red... Ah, did you touch something? Or did it just continue? Just continue anyway, right. all the colors don't match. They're all crazy colors. Okay, I want to play single player now. Stop. Stop playing. I'm playing single player. <laughs> technically, yes. <laughs> and technically, you could lose. <laughs> or win. Okay. So, play. Okay, who am I? I am black. And I've, you start off with a thousand points, so that's not bad. A thousand dollars. Oh, get the grade. There we go. Oh, how much was that? It didn't seem like much. Dun, dun. Yeah, 
great music. Is it all original music? Oh, money, 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 money. Five twenty. Did you get the money? I did, but it... no, but I don't think you did it. I think oh. it said five twenty, and then you hit it, and it was gone. Oh no! Oh, he got it. I just got another one. I have to avoid them. Like I'm getting low on money. No, you can't. Oh, don't avoid them if you like... want to win. How much are they each? Like a hundred. Get one. Hundred. Have to wait, and I have to avoid them. Ah! ah! No, they're only forty. Okay. And if you don't get them, you won't okay. win. How much did it go up? Sorry. Did you get a money? I did. It didn't go up much. No, it didn't. Psst, psst, at all. Psst, psst. Hey, don't put fancy things on the screen if you don't want me to play. That's Pixel talking. Hey! Okay, watch. Oh, he got it. But I oh, won. Oh, you won. No, he Just, won. No. Oh, what color are Where you? Where am I? Oh, there I am. I'm black. No, no, you're blue. But your score is blue. Ah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, see? Yep. There's monies. Oh, I only have to get up to 25. And no, now 50. you have to get 50. So I just have to maintain the money. Yeah, I didn't see. I get that money. You only got four. You, each one only gets you enough to get one. One game? Get it. Oh get the money and yeah, you only get 40. Oh my god, that's not enough. Because that's one game. And you're collecting way more games. But I guess you start off with a decent amount of money, so... Well, it's like, running out of money, is, it's not like you want to run out of money. You don't, obviously. No. But, like, there's no reason to not get the games while you have money. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Unless you're getting really, really close. But I'm not. Eh, mine! <laughs> he does go for the money. Mm -hmm. He is, does have some AI. Unless he's just really, really coincidentally getting money. 30. Oh, yeah, I have to get up to 50. So it is a bit harder now because you can run out of money. Cat, I would get you off my desk if I could, but I am playing. And you are looking for trouble. 36. 39. Oh, my God. Cat. <laughs> 41. <laughs> <laughs> he is so mad. He's such a bad cat. He's a very good cat. <laughs> no, he's, he's not. hardly destroying anything. <laughs> True. Did you I ran out, out of money? money. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, you were so close. Okay. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna beat on. that second level. Going, Does the money carry over from the first level, or do you start off with a new amount? It's like a new day bring a whole stack of cash to the mall again? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's money to get, so... Yeah. Ding. Really good music. You should finish off this game. Uh, or even update it. Or, or finish it off, because this would be, like, a strong contender in best music. And sound. So he thinks the AI is slightly smarter the further you go. Okay. But he's never gotten past level four. Oh, <laughs> in his own game. I always find that funny. I can't get past level four in my own game. <laughs> Just means you're Playing gonna... games is not the same skill as making games. It's entirely <laughs> it's different. That is true. Uh, so I think you he... must have gotten more money at the beginning of the level. It might have added to what you already have, oh. I don't know. But... Um... So he didn't beat me last time, I lost. That's right. Well, so I have to make he sure. did beat you. Because <laughs> he, did. he didn't run out of money, and you did. So I guess you get kicked out of the mall when you run out of money. It's like, no, you gotta you gotta get out. No loafers. No, no, what is it? What's the term? When you're just hanging around somewhere? Loiterers. No loiterers. <laughs> Show us your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> you must prove you have money. Get that money. No credit cards. Actual cash. Show us the cash. What you need... Yeah, Oops. I guess what all you need to do is concentrate on getting money and accidentally getting those cubes, assuming that the computer yes. can run out as well. I don't think it can. But if it can't... I if it can, then all you have to do is get the money. That's true. And then true. it can't get ahead of you, because it will run out. That's true. And you'll accidentally get those cubes. <laughs> you will at times. You will run into them by mistake. Because there's no time limit. In fact... I think I run into them more often by mistake. 
I'm running out of money. It's like aiming at something when you're a bad shot. <laughs> it's like there's yes. nowhere safer than at the center of the bullseye when somebody's a terrible shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe trying for it. Yeah, maybe behind them or something. But. Okay, I have to be very careful now. I have to go for the money and accidentally hit. That's cubes. literally what I was telling you to do. Yeah, that was, was literally not. the strategy I'd suggested <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> I was not listening. Because you only have. On the game. Ah! You need. I got more. hit. Okay. Ah! ah yeah, run! exactly. That's that's that's. I have five thing. more to go, but I don't have enough to that's buy right. those five. You don't have enough yet. Tell me when I do. Ah! Uh, no, 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 mine. My money. I think you have enough now. Yep, you have enough. Get that money anyways. Okay, now I'll go for it. Now we'll know. Now watch the amount. And there's more money. Now do yeah, I get more 40? money? You have to, because otherwise you immediately oh, lose. Good. Yeah, you start with a thousand. Okay, good. So I don't have to worry about it for now. Just head for the money and kind of... Just always head for the money. Just always. Yeah. Always. I was That's doing all that. you do is head for the money. <laughs> you don't do anything else. The... You need a lot of money. You gotta get That's 75. True. I'm just gonna stay heading for the money. Yeah. Ah! So you need 3,000 total. Wow. And you only oh. start with 1,000. Um, I have to actively. No! He almost took that. Then he oh decided God. the last second. Not it's to. almost as if the computer player was trying to beat you. <laughs> but he doesn't even need money. What a scoundrel. He has what do you mean he doesn't need cash. money? I don't. He's never died. Yeah, but he. But he's always behind yeah, me too. That's, that's true. You could if you were really. He should be able to get. If he starts with a thousand, he would be able to get. Oh, he didn't even know. Uh, how many? I don't know. That's the real <laughs> test because so far he has picked up zero dollars. He had four hundred. He'd get ten, so he would get uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, let's see if he makes it to twenty-six. Because he has picked up zero dollars. That means he has infinite cash. Or at least a lot. <laughs> a lot more than me. He's at 25. Ah. He's at 25. So, he's so if he gets more, another one... He's a cheater, cheater, cheater. And he has an unfair advantage. Uh, he's still at 25. I think maybe that's a sign that he's... Avoiding, avoiding them? them. Oh no, he just <gasps> went above it. Cheater! 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 Or I did bad math, I don't know which. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, I accidentally got some money. <laughs> Since there's no time limit, it's good to... He's not even picking them up, he's actually actually going over them. But he has picked them up in the past. So. Yeah. Well, it does... It would be even more unfair if he was stealing your money and didn't need any. <laughs> That's true. That would be very bad. So, uh, yeah, the AI has infinite money. Okay, okay. I think he should go for the money more often. He doesn't seem to be really trying too hard well, for the money. Well, he said later on it gets harder, so maybe it goes okay. for the money more later. I don't know. You're losing right now. Oh, so, God, I am. You know, okay. maybe talk less uh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> Let's do more winning. More winning. <laughs> there, cut up. Yeah, when but is, you also need money, and he doesn't. How many do I need to get? It was 25, then 50. Is it 100? I think now? it's 75. Or is it go up by I'm 25 only or doubles? I don't know. Oh, God. I gotta get more, then. Yeah, oh, you, God. You need, to stop. Ah. you need to stop getting the stuff until you get more monies. I don't even know if it's possible to win this level now. Because I'm just barely beating him, and I don't even... You're not, not beating, beating him. him. I don't have much money, and I have to be very careful not to hit things. Yeah, at some point I think this game just becomes impossible, because I can't prevent him from collecting games at all. And I can only earn cash so quickly, and therefore impossible to beat. I think I'm just barely it, making it by still... now. I'm very in danger of dying. Ah! It's amazing how difficult it is for me to even catch any of the pieces and how often <laughs> going to get the money is like ow, ow. directly in line <laughs> with them. Really good music. 
You still don't have enough money. You need... No, and he's ahead you of me. You need one more money. <laughs> one more money. If 75 is the goal, you okay. need one more. Okay, now I'm safe? You... you... <gasps> he got to 75 before you. It was theoretically possible to yeah. beat him, just barely with the money I've been collecting. I didn't miss one piece of money. Yeah, you would have had to ban right on the line of accidentally dying in order <laughs> yes. to beat him. Because he beat you the almost the second, not the second, but he only beat he beat you a few seconds after you had enough money. So I can see how you can make it to level four, but not any further. Because I think he just is better. Yeah, I'm not sure. If, like, I don't think you can mechanic, because the money has to come in faster. It's not just that you have to get all the money, yeah. but that it has to be fast enough. And it was only just fast enough to do just. it this way. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to push yourself to the point that you're at risk Riding of accidentally that. losing. Riding that line. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play one more? Or no. Good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent game. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, there's a lot of really fun strategy in there of just maintaining your your dollars. I would say make it a bit easier on level three. Like just a bit easier. So that because or at least possible. Way easier. Because I don't think level four <laughs> is possible to beat. At that yeah. at that pace. Yeah, just feel. But the game the gameplay is solid. It's just a matter of like Oh yeah the, the gameplay is yeah, yeah the, the game the, balance. The, the mechanics, yeah. Bal yep. Gameplay balance. Whatever it's called. Gameplay balance, yeah. Yeah. Um, incredible music, yeah, uh, incredible gameplay for blocks floating around the screen. You don't need fancy graphics. Even without the music, you don't need the fancy music, even though that's like some of the best music I've heard on a 2600, actually. Like, way up there. Mm -hmm. um, highly encourage you to continue making this game so that it can be entered in the awards of this year for at least music. You know, if you uh, if you can make it so that the AI chases after the money. Yes. And needs the money, mm. then you don't need to balance anything else. That introduces a lot of difficulty on his no. behalf of oh, having well, the AI now the avoid AI's... the blocks. But chase the, he can chase the money but have infinite money. No, what I'm saying, it's already hard enough. What I'm saying is that, what, what, I, what I'm saying is if you can make it so that Chase the Money and Needs the Money, yes. then you have an actual strategy of getting the money and winning that way mm -hmm. by keeping him from having enough money to beat you. But does the game Like, stop? why do you need to get the money if he doesn't? That's what I'm saying. It's, 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 the premise is that yeah. it's an even battle, but it's not. And so what I'm saying, like, yeah. maybe the money is not the thing to do, if the AI can't also need to get the money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know how hard it is to, to accomplish it, so maybe I'm being ridiculous. But like... You would have the, to have the, two The basic the premise, money. the most honest premise, would be if you're both in the same situation, which was yeah. both... And it looks like you are and all that stuff. So the fact that it isn't... Yeah. And it also complicates it because like we're like, he can win without needing to collect any money. And you had to get... you You... He just had to collect the boxes, and you had to both collect money and boxes, and you yeah. could only just have barely wind mechanically. And it solves that problem if you're both after the same goal. True. But there, there are a lot of games where you the enemy more money has in. an unfair advantage. Yeah, you could up the money. But does when he, can he But what lose? I'm saying is can when you lose? look at this game, yeah. so lots of games are asymmetrical. This does not look like an asymmetrical game. That's, that's what I'm saying. That, that's a po point as well, isn't it? A two-player game. But the two-player game doesn't have money, right? Yeah. So like the money is a single-player mechanic. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. But, but when it becomes he runs a two... out of money, does he lose and you get to automatically advance to next level? It's not when he runs out of money. It's when he buys something without any money, or whatever the trigger is. Sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't? That's what I'm saying. It why changes wouldn't... the game a lot when you do that. Yeah, but it only changes it to what the game is. Mm-hmm. That's already what the game is. It's just it's true for both of you, and it, it opens it up because it gives you two ways it, it, to win. It, it, two ways to win. You yeah. can win by trying to dominate the money, or you you know what I mean. Both I ways guess you are would fine. the thing is you would have to dominate the money, and then the game would be dominating the money. Yeah. And the picking up games would be the thing to do. It would be nothing. It would be just like oh, I dominate the money and then I win. Yes. Because yeah. you can't win without the money. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Uh, yeah. It, you'd have to change the game quite a bit if you did that uh, you'd have to show his amount as well or you could memorize it it's best to show his amount because yeah. um 
Yeah, you'd have to change the mechanics quite a bit. I think sticking with this and having unfair player is or fun. instead of collecting money on the screen yeah you uh you get money from the fountain <laughs> and, i was gonna say avoid the guard some of the colors are like a goodbye and then you sell them on ebay <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That's true. Yeah, some of the colors are worth more than others, and you can flip them <laughs> immediately. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, that's not a very good. That's not a very good suggestion. No, but it's, an, no. it's it's yeah. I, I I like the way it is. I think just more game balancing is yep. needed. Just a just a slight tweak. Yeah, yeah. That'd... To make level three easier, and maybe make that level four, or just just ramp it up a little slower. Like if you like the thing. That struck the thing that would be the easiest to adjust, I think, is if you made the money when you collect it that it gave you more. Yes. Not each, not that you needed one money per square you collect. More would but be like, a lot. Better. Like if you were because then, then it allows you to get to that point later on where you really yes. have to like manage the two very closely towards like the last level or something. Yeah. Um, that would be yeah. a simple, simple fix. Just mm -hmm. increase it from forty to. 80 or 100 or whatever it is 80 yeah, yeah. and 80 then four. and then even getting 80 as you go on further down wouldn't be enough because yeah the, 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 if the ai is getting better at collecting the squares or whatever yeah and you can make the ai not actually as, it doesn't not even have to change beginning. it doesn't even have to change because uh because of your requirement to gather the money and how much money you have to gather goes up just by you needing to have a total number of games more because you only start with a thousand bucks yeah and so if you need 200 games that means you have to collect more money than yeah. you did for 50 games because for 50 games you only needed to buffer your thousand bucks a little bit yeah know, whatever yeah yeah but an easy way to game balance it is yeah. to just make it worth more yeah. or you can make it worth less as time goes on whichever but it's a it's a very quick like simple change like yeah. really really simple and you don't have to change a thing else i mean you you would have, if it was worth, uh, instead of 40, if it was worth 45, you might have won that game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't even need to be double. No. But the reason to make it double is that the third level maybe shouldn't be so hard that you have to have the top level skills to beat it. Yeah. This, uh, this coming from someone who has <laughs> no level skills <laughs> at <Yeah>. all. <laughs> 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 so the fourth game we're playing, fifth game we're playing game today is Seawolf. Look out for those mines. Yep. Now, oh, actually, we don't want to show they this first. They look like facehuggers. We don't want to show this first because this was an arcade game. Oh. So let's take a look at the arcade game first um, so we can get a sense of where this came from. Uh, so thanks, uh, Laudmot, uh, for uh, making that game. Yeah. It's really, really good. Love it. Um, so Seawolf was uh, a game from 1976. Really early game. It's one of those black and white games. Mm. There we go. Wow. And it was a um, crosshair. Crosshair game. So you had a, an aiming um, yoke. Seawolf is a shoot 'em up video game by Midway, originally released in arcades in 1976. It's a video game update of an earlier coin operated electric mechanical Midway game, Sea Devil. Itself based on Sega's 1966 coin op electromechanical arcade submarine simulator, Periscope. So this really dates back to 1966. Uh, Seawolf, uh, sea spelled wrong. Somebody needs to update the uh, Wikipedia entry for Seawolf. They spelled it Seawold in uh, the first paragraph. It was designed by Dave Nutting and eventually sold 10,000 arcade cabinets. So, different uh, bunch of ships. Oh, that's really cool. Did, that. Did they have a bunch of overlays all over the place? In the game that got lit up with uh, light bulbs in the back? 
I was thinking. Interesting. I've never seen this in person, so. Yeah, because the uh, explosions don't happen where the boat is, they happen near, near it. So approximately like in a grid, maybe there's like 20 across. Yeah, and and like there it happened not even really like on the ship. Yeah, or where the... Oh, we hit a mine, I did see what happened. Okay. It says zap. Oh, okay, so... The mines are just in the way graphics. of your bullets. And it seems like when you shoot enough of them, they refresh and you get a full screen of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Um, and this is for sale in the Atari Age store. Uh, it was originally sold... There, everybody can see what I watch. Awesome. <laughs> um, uh, it was originally sold on a blue cart, um, which is very unique. And now it's sold on a black cart, so... If you missed the initial run, I don't have any notes of how many were sold on a blue cart. Hmm. Um, it wasn't in Arena Foot's uh, list of lists. Uh, Ground Trooper says Seawolf is the one I need to uh, add as a physical cart and box. Yeah, they're, they're selling a box, a uh, box version of it on the Atari Age store right now. Uh, Nathan Strom posted uh, after I said I was going to play this that this is his favorite game. And he got the high score in a 2018 Atari Age competition. Huh. Of 19,940. So that's what we're aiming for today. No. No. We will not make it to that <laughs> score. <laughs> um, and it's a 4K game. So let's get it going. Oop. That didn't work. There we go. It's a really nice uh, looking translation of it. Or port. Oops. I didn't mean... Oh, it didn't start. Okay. Um, you ready to play? Oh, I guess you can. So this one isn't a crosshairs. You're a boat that can aim, which is similar to crosshairs because it only went left and right. It didn't go up and down. So you can just pretend your boat at the bottom is the crosshairs. Uh, Cybergoth originally posted on May 24th, 2004. Said, hi there, attached are both PAL and NTSC binaries of sea Seawolf. They are release candidates. I'd like at everyone to interested in the game to try and play test these binaries. Be it on emulators or the real thing, please give me some feedback. And I will read out the instructions for this game. Thrust. No, joystick. Is it paddles? Yeah, this could be paddle a paddle game. It's only left and right, but it is a joystick game. There's no reason that'd be a joystick or a paddle. It'd work better, good for both because there's no up and down movement at all. So, if somebody wanted to translate it to a paddle game, it could be done. So, Seawolf. Oh, where is it? There it is. Uh, Seawolf, bearing mark, range mark, torpedo, playing the game. The easiest and cheapest, cheapest way to play Seawolf is to use one of the available Atari VCS emulators. Okay. Well, we don't need to know that. Seawolf uses the left joystick controller. Uh, the display is vertically divided into several parts. On the top of the screen, your score is displayed. Darcy has 12, 1300 now. Uh, points. The, is color-coded according to the chosen difficulty selection. We didn't choose anything. Right now it's on BB. Ensign. Uh, yeah, so there's two difficulty. Uh, oh, there's more than one. Ensign is position B, which we're on, and captain is mode A. Ensign means high-tech submarines face standard destroyers. Captain mode means standard machine marine standard submarines face high-tech destroyers. Well, we'll find out what that means. Captain, uh, when the right difficulty switch is in position B, which we're on, you get a new enemy ship types introduced slowly one at a time. Set your position to A if you prefer full action start. So we are on the easiest one. I believe we're supposed to shoot that thing that went across your screen. But I'm not oh, there's, sure I just shoot all the things. And if they're civilians, well, they shouldn't be <laughs> in, in my torpedo in your land. War waters. Oh, I sunk. Or no, I just, I'm done. Ran out of torpedoes. Because you still have subs. Oh, no. Are you going again? Oh, yeah, okay. So you have uh, three submarines to start. Um, then, starting the actual game area, you see enemies, main convoy routes, protected by several layers of sea mines. And down oh. in the ocean depths... 
Don't shoot those guys. They bounce back at you. Oh, what was it? I didn't see it. Those white ones. Oh, those are destroyers, I guess. Hmm. And we'll slow down after you hit it once. Yeah. They're pretty fast. So it's probably a good thing they said. But they take two hits, whereas the other ones only take the one hit. Mm. Uh, and down in the ocean depths, your group of Sea Wolf class submarines are hiding. In the status area on the bottom, you find three pairs of digits. They show from left to right. The remaining fuel amount is on the left. You have 52. Remaining number of torpedoes, 25 now. Remaining number of submarines, you have two right now. Oh, I see. So the the thing is, you get your score based on your torpedoes. Um, your score is going up. No, your score is based on your torpedoes because if you run out of torpedoes, your round ends. True, that is true. So you need more more torpedoes you have, and more successful hits you get. Nice, nice. Uh, one of those was accidental. <laughs> Every thousand points, you get a white refill target. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're almost to your next one. I did get a refill target. Now, does a refill? So you should get it now. So definitely get that. Nice. And the refill just goes up to fifty. So it doesn't matter how if you're down to one or ten, it goes up to fifty again. Okay, that's cool. Uh, starting the game. La da da. We already know how to start the game. Gameplay, uh, use joystick to steer your submarine. Oh, we got, uh, we got some Ooh, active shooting. destroyers now. Oh, boy. It's getting difficult. So those white ones you can't hurt. It just bounces back. Yeah, they hurt you. Okay. But only when you hurt them first. Oh, oh and it goes back really fast, too. Uh, press the fire button to launch your torpedoes. You can launch two or three at a time. Depending on whether you're playing the ensign or captain mode, so you can launch two in this. Amazing mode. how often I get accidental kills when I'm trying to <laughs> do the second kill on the slow-moving target. <laughs> hey. It's like, it's like, get it. It's like, is it intentional that everything gets in the way of it, or is it just <laughs> the way it turns out? It's just a lot of things. Ooh, I bet that's a lot of points. We'll get to the points soon. You'll start the game oh, with a group of. I guess I got hit by something. Yeah. Ran out of fuel. Ah, fuel. And that's just time. Uh, it doesn't, ooh! <laughs> doesn't seem to go down uh, faster or slower. So you have to get a thousand points fast enough. Oh, there's a reef. Oh, it's fast this time. Uh oh. Oh, smart. It's worth throwing the rest of your torpedoes because. Oh, nice. Uh. You start the game with a group of three submarines, each armed with 50 torpedoes and maximum fuel. Ooh, nice. Uh, once you've entered enemy territory, observe the convoy routes and the movement of the sea mines. When an enemy ship enters your range, maneuver your submarine into a good position to launch your torpedoes. There are several types of enemy ships, each behaving a little bit differently to the others. Some are more dangerous, some are harder to hit, some will even drop depth charge. And shooting a Red Cross ship can't be that wise, right? Red Cross ships. Uh, Have you seen one? That's the white ships. Oh, so they don't take your score down. Maybe they take your score down even. Mm -hmm. I'll have to watch next time. Oh. Uh. Uh, really good graphics on the boat, boat in this game and the sunset, of course. Oh, oh they take three hits. Um. If you hit him on the nose there, the second hit doesn't take. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to run out of torpedoes. You need to get your score up. Oh, you might make it. You might make it. Of course, you need to use, save one of those torpedoes to get your torpedoes back. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, nice. There we go. That was a good one. So you got seven torpedoes. So. Nice. Oh, I sunk. <gasps> oh, I no, you ran out of fuel. I got... Oh, you yeah. Just, you just hit it. Yeah. Just barely. I don't know. Does it give you fuel? Even 5,000 points. <laughs> mm? uh, it gives you... It must fill you up as well. Uh... 
Let's see. Let's see. My turn? Okay, your turn. Um, right here. Since? Since you'll be rapidly depleting your supplies during combat, restocking pods will be sent your way at regular intervals. No, it's not. Inter no. no. Keep an ear out for your sonar signals. Each time a pod is launched, it'll send a ping. What? Try cracking up the pod with a torpedo in order to get your submarine restocked. Nice. Ending the game. Your game ends when all three ships in your group run out of fuel, run out of torpedoes, or sink. You can also end your game by any time by pressing reset. <laughs> or unplugging the computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Uh, uh, feedback. I'd really like to read comments, reviews, love or hate mails regarding Seawolf. Send your mail to cybergoth at nextgo.de. If still a book. <laughs> this was released quite a while ago. Nope, it's there forever. <laughs> he has that email address. He's stuck with it. <laughs> Uh, acknowledging acknowledgments, the 2600 programmers mailing list. Right. That was before the Atari age forums. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to all the input from the people on the list. I have found the information and the support needed to complete this project. Some people's efforts deserve a special mention. The 24 pixel wide sprite engine displaying the ships in Seawolf was inspired by Eckerd Stolberg's Big Move demo. Hmm. The superior groundwork demo was the first to recreate the technique which was used to display the huge dragons in Dragonfire hmm. and the big cars in Grand Prix. Thomas Yentz helped me optimize the turbo code of the game. Thanks, Additionally, Thomas. he's one of the top ranking idea contributors, playtesters, and moral supporters. Dave Exton created the label artwork and this manual. The guys from VGWiz, VGWiz.com produced those wonderful crystal blue cartridge cases for Seawolf. Mm. Many other people supported the project with feedback, encouragement, ideas, bug reports, or else. Uh, names that pop into my mind are Nathan Strom, Al Nathan Albert Yoruso, Mike Stagney, Glenn Saunders, Dusty Reichwin, and the whole hype curse. Hype crew. Zype. Zype? Sure. <laughs> Zype. Zype crew. Disclaimer, no original cartridges have been harmed or cannibalized <laughs> to create secrets. They are now. <laughs> Legal Mate. stuff. This game is freeware, so the bin uh, the bin may be freely distributed so long as it is accompanied by this documentation file. Seawolf may be included on websites and shareware or freeware compilations, but please contact me first. You are not allowed to distribute Seawolf on Atari 2600 cartridges without my explicit permission. That's right. Stop it. <laughs> Boom. That's what I think of an open tablet. tablet. None of that. <clears throat> Dope. Ah, red cross ships. Sometimes Kaboom! they take two and sometimes they take three hits. I think. I think it depends on where you hit them. I think no, if you hit them you. in the hall, it was always it, it, two. It was only when I hit them on the nose that it slowed them and didn't, but didn't count as damage or something. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Ciao. See, so hit him on the nose. Yeah. Oh. I think. And then I think it's like you have to. I think what it is maybe is that you have to stop them and then get kill it. them. Uh, okay. And so what happens is the other times is that you stop them, but then they started going again, and then you had to stop them because no, they have to be not moving in order to be killed. Oh, Jesus. They came back and got me. Yeah. For blue. Get it, get it. Oh my god, I got both of them. Big points. It didn't list points, like what was worth what in the manual. And I would think that this, the faster, smaller ones are worth... Uh, they were in the original game, anyways. That makes sense. So Although the points are much lower on this than they were in the original game. Mm. Oh, thank you for taking the points. <laughs> oh! Aha. I was aiming for one, but got the other one. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I two, think sometimes I think maybe it's, I think it's the fast ones 
you have uh, to shoot them twice before they're going slow enough to kill them or something? Maybe. Oh, we got two. There we go. Knew I would. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh no, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You're normal dead. I'm very normal dead. <laughs> Aha! That's a good way of doing it if you know you're gonna hit it. Otherwise, you're just wasting bullets. Like I can. I only have one more torpedo. But I have another. I have another sup. You have another sup. It's true. With full fuel. sucks when they take three hits, because then you're wasting your bullets on one point. There it is. Get it. No, 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 no! Oh my god, there were so many mines getting in the way. <laughs> I'm dead again. Oh, no, I got so do you connect, do you connect your Twitch to Prime in Twitch, or do you connect it in Prime? Um, I'm pretty sure it's in Twitch. I've never... That's not as good. I think I did a long time ago, so I can't remember. Because Twitch needs to know that, not Amazon. Eh. All right. I mean, they both Maybe they both need to know it. In fact, Amazon needs to know more than Twitch because it depends on... I think it's Twitch. I think... That you set it in, anyway. I would think that since it's Prime <laughs> that you're... Torpedoes. That you have, like, that you're adding you're adding your benefit you get from prime to twitch so it seems like like that amazon needs to know that this twitch account is legit yeah they both twitch twitch is like the little brother you don't go to the little brother and go is it okay if i give you all of big brother's stuff big the little brother says yeah all of big brother's stuff is always mine <laughs> well they both run by the same company so that's I, I'm, irrelevant that's oh. not irrelevant the bigger ones still matter thank you Amano ferreira for subscribing with twitch prime is that what reminded you it is <laughs> do it see it works um just subscribe the channel via twitch prime amazon prime it doesn't answer the question uh welcome in the navy do you recognize the music no i don't something i don't know um so i got 55 20 you have to beat that? No, I don't. Okay, I'll beat it. It's shameful that you only beat me by 520 points. It's you know I suck shameful. at these games, right? It's because I missed <laughs> the refill many, many times. And that's... It just You're dead. If you miss it, you're dead. You have to get it. There's no way out of it. I have to use up my life to get refilled. And that is a very wasteful way of doing it. One fifth of the way to Nathan Strum's uh, high score. And it doesn't work like that, but because it gets harder and harder, it doesn't just take three times as long. Get this up. Oh. oh, it's a slow that moving boat. Nice. nice. I clicked in Manager Prime membership oh. on yeah. Twitch. Yep. And all that it said be. was, this is what you get <laughs> if you do the thing. Oh. We should find that location and like post it. Can somebody find the location or post how to do it? Like what menu items? Like is it in Twitch or is it in Amazon? I'm guessing it's in Twitch, but... <laughs> I mean, I could look up how to, but I don't think I should have to look up how to. No, it should be a link from the page you're already on. Oh, missed it by a pixel. Is 
Some of these fast-moving boats, it's pretty much random that you're going to get them. Because the speed of your bullet is so slow that they're off the screen by the time you even can react. Like that boat, I can probably... I got it. But only because I was... Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was a good run of points. Needs a third. Ah! Stop! Stop it! Oh, what a waste. No, 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 don't hit those. I don't know if it took me down in points or not by hitting the random rocks. Ships. Didn't do it on purpose. Definitely a fun game. Yeah, and it looks amazing. Yeah. Really nice colors. Good control. So many mines. Look, good variety of ships. Um, great translation of the arcade game. Obviously, an enhancement of the arcade game. So many shooting ships now. Come on, get it, get it, get it. If that's worth more points. Yeah, I've got it. I would think that the ships that shoot you are worth more points. It's like amazing how often you click on a link and then it goes, oh, it looks like you're in Canada. And then and <laughs> you if you over. click on the thing, it's like, oh, they just sent you to just base Amazon.ca. Ignore the fact that you followed some chain of like, <laughs> uh, anyways. anyways. Canadian problems. We're so used to that here. Because we go to a dot .com site and it's like, oh, you're Canadian? You have to do a whole bunch of hoops and jump through this and start over from our main page again, even though you're on the page you actually want to be on. Nope. <laughs> you don't get any points for the mines. Oh, everything's so fast now. Ugh. Hitting all the wrong things. Come on. Just need a bit more points to get to... One more ship. Luckily, I have 15 torpedoes. One more. One more ship. <gasps> so refills are getting fast now. I'm only at 4,000? It's a low scoring game. It takes a while to work your way up to a good score. Everything's so fast now. It's, it's, it truly is like random whether you're going to get points or not. You just fire at the top of the screen and hope something is passing in front of your bullet. It's like literally I cannot get it up fast enough to get most of these ships. Is that going to hit something? It almost did. But the thing was not on the screen when I fired it, and it was off the screen before the bullet went up to the top of the screen by missing it. Yeah, I think it's some of the fastest crazy. ones, it's just, you just have to be lucky. Yeah. Maybe and, I'm wrong. But. Oh, yeah. No, you're not wrong. Like, those speedboats, when they're going fast, it's just ran out of fuel. I was getting close to a new score. I was just taking too long. You can't, you can't even take your time. You almost have to just fire, hoping that you hit something, pacing out your, uh, pacing out your shots. Yeah, it's a crazy game. It gets really hard. Almost to the next, uh, next refill, but it just died, so it's not going to help much. Because, oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, God! I was so close. I got the last second. <laughs> good when the high point 
ones that are worth a lot of points are moving really slow. Fire randomly. Three times. Bullet wasters. Come on, get this up. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. Fifty-eight. Almost there. I've got lots of fuel. That's good. Something. Sub! Oh, it's close. It's random, I gotta say. Got 12 torpedoes. Also, dude, I'm gonna see. Oh, I'm running out of torpedoes. I'm almost there. Come on. Yes! Oh, no, one more thing. Four torpedoes left. Two torpedoes? Ah, oh, I have to hit something that only takes one hit. And, and seven you have to fuel. do it fast. Uh, okay, fire. <laughs> I had to just do that. <laughs> one sub left, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. And I get a yay, a refuel right now. Hooray, <laughs> thank you so much. That was very, very helpful. Not. <laughs> Not at all. Look out! <laughs> oh. The Karma Torpedo is coming for you. That's right. Do you dare fire at us? Well, we are armed. Or at least have a reflection shield or something on a ship. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. It's weird I, It's I weird that Red Cross has this indestructible uh, torpedo shield, oh. but that um, <laughs> the other ships that are expected to be shot at don't. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they're not equipped with that. Maybe it takes up a lot of a lot of resources, it's, or it's really heavy. Oh, Ooh, nice. that was lucky. Yeah, That's, that may carry me over to the next level. Just that one hit, because it gave me a lot of points. Oh come on! Waste, waste, waste. Oh, I hate those ships. Nice. Oh, God. you get shot. Sixty-six ninety. 6690. Not terrible. Not super great, but not terrible. The score is six digits. Oh my god. Good luck with that. Uh, Twitch Prime is on Twitch. Okay, that's helpful. Okay. If you rapid fire two shots, the first one will hit the ship or the sub, and the second will hit its explosion, give you more points. When I looked it up, it said you nice. go to twitch.amazon prime. Yeah. Not on, not to Twitch, but it's on uh, oh, that Amazon. But then it it said you're a foreigner, gone. And then when I tried to find Twitch.prime.ca, yeah, uh, it just tried to load but failed. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to do the double shot. So far, it hasn't worked. But it's only for small things. Only like for this, small things? It was for uh, the small ships, destroyers and subs. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, little monster. What are you doing? Oh, who's a half a lump? Oh, it's not helping me. Not the big ones. Nope, just the little ones. But the chances of you even hitting those is hard, so... You have to risk uh, an extra bullet. Yep. It's a bug. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's <laughs> you're definitely not, a bug. You're not supposed to be doing it. Really. It's, <laughs> you're a big old cheater. Oh, here comes a boy. What you, happened? You fired your last torpedo. That's a Oh! <laughs> I was doing very rapid fire because yeah, I was trying to do, was trying to do something. At the 55th Academy Awards, Das Boot was nominated for six awards, including Best Director. To this day, it holds the record for the most Academy Award nominations for a German film. Okay. It's a good film. I have it on, uh, I have it in the other room on DVD. I have it on video cassette. Yeah. Do Actually, I don't, because I don't think I have my video <laughs> Go cassette. Right so. Okay. Yeah, it's a very long film if you watch the full one. It's like four and a half hours. 
But it it's good for four and a half hours. Oh, for that's the music. Oh, okay. Well, now it's revealed. Only destroyers and subs. After a while, the game goes so fast, you just have to fire through a clear path hoping you hit something. That was what I was kind of almost to a point. Like, everything was just zoom, too zoom. fast to anticipate. Mm -hmm. And the slow things aren't worth enough points. So, okay. That makes sense. I don't know how you got up to that 16,000 or 15,000, but obviously that's the strategy. Good stuff. Uh, fun, fun game. Really In well reality, done. the slow things would be the ones that should be worth the most points because that's where all of the uh, supplies and troops are. Mm, that's true. Not the speedboats that have like two or three or Well, you want to kill them because they're going to kill you, but they wouldn't be... They're not really worth all that many points. Yeah. Subs, yes. I mean, I guess if Subs you could kill them as easily as you do in this game, <laughs> you'd kill them first and then you'd <laughs> kill the rest of them. But <laughs> Yeah. Director's cut is 207 minutes. 207 minutes, 6 threes, 180. Three, no, there's three a, a four and a half hours. Oh, the director's cut. There's a four and a half hour version of it, I believe, which is not the director's cut. And I think that's the one I have. Maybe it is three and a half, and I'm misremembering. But uh, So, let's take a look at the games that we played today. Key Hops. Um... The, the original game looks like there's not much to it. There's no danger in the original game. How did you game. pronounce that? Key hops. But there's no... There's no... Like, you're adding a key. <laughs> <laughs> you're adding an EY between the K and the H. I am. I'm going to look it up. How would you say it? <laughs> How would you pronounce it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I can't even... Oh. It's not gonna... Khufu? That's definitely not how you pronounce it. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I see why I see why you were pronouncing it that way. That's not crazy. Keops, maybe. Not an H. Yeah, Keops. Keops, yeah. not Keops. I was saying... Yeah. I was pronouncing the H a bit more. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's... The original uncut version, 308 minutes. Yeah. So, 6, 4... 24, 6, 5, 35 hours and mm -hmm. 8 minutes. Wow. There's also a 6 times 50 minute version. 6 times 50? Jesus. So 6 episodes? Yeah. For television broadcast, I guess. Wow. Yeah, lots of versions. I didn't, I didn't see the 6 times 50. I don't think I even saw the 308. Oh, yeah, that's the one. No, I think I have one just down from that. Or maybe it is that one. I'll take a look after. Um, and the, I mean, the trans, the port of, of Keops mm. is pretty, pretty much the mm -hmm. same. I mean, it's only horizontal. I wouldn't say it's much of a game. There's no danger. Mm -hmm. It's simple. You beat it first try because you can't not beat it. Unless you get uh, lost yeah, in the maze. I'm just, I'm confused as to, like, I think we must be missing something. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Mm -mm. Like. Missing something from the original game, too. I don't know. Yeah. What. Like, what. what it's like, it? it's like the, it's like. I think the original one, you collect everything. That's you your You try goal. to collect everything, everything. And when you get that key, the game ends or something. Yeah. And um, that's your But in this points. one, it's like, you can't collect everything because it disappears. <laughs> yeah. You can only memorize the maze and, and then, then memorize get more rather than less. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can always win, but it's how much you win by. Spider, uh, that's more of a game, that's for sure. That was uh, you got a good pattern down, and it doesn't get a, any harder. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine for a simple game. Uh, RPS, uh, the twenty six hundred. It it is what it is. <laughs> it is yeah. rock paper scissors. It is. Yep. And you can you can put a lot of stuff into it. Some nice music, mm -hmm. and it's good graphics, and some AI which wasn't in the games, but that would be interesting. And two players, a lot of fun. Um, and it's interesting hearing the history of it and, and and all that. That's that's the fun part. I like the development history of games. Hi, uh, game catchers. Oh, and incredible. Fun yeah, book. yeah, it was really good. Really, really good. Uh, the music's really good um and just the 
risk versus reward of getting money to buy the games, but you have to avoid games, but you want them at the same time. <laughs> uh, that's very unique. Not many, ga not many games give you danger of collecting the items that you're supposed to collect. It's like, yeah. collect them, but not too many. Yeah. And not yet. Not yet. But now go get them because you're running out of time. Yeah. It's, it's a really interesting dynamic that I haven't seen in too many games. And Seawolf, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Excellent game. Um, great shooter. Gets very hard. Not too fast. It does ramp up fairly good. But then it gets really hard to a point where it's less skill and more... Hope. Or a different level of skill that we haven't figured out yet, which is like... Because uh, understanding the timing, yeah, and being like, Nathan "Oh, Strum a fast way one wins." Therefore, I wait a second and fire, and then a second after I fire, it'll come onto the screen. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, because it goes off, and you can anticipate the next one coming on. Yeah, yeah. and Nathan Strum obviously is way better than everyone else because he was able to get to sixteen thousand. He does know some tactics. Gick says, "I proof of game desire." Hmm. Nope, can't translate that. He's uh, Portuguese, I believe. Uh, uh, speaks Portuguese mm. um, from Brazil. I'm not sure what he's trying to say there. I desire proof of games too. Sorry, proof of game desire. Mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not quite there yet. Um, yeah, Game Catcher, I think, was my, uh, was my favorite today. I definitely like Seawolf. Uh, oh, Game Catcher was good too. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I love the mechanics of Game Catcher and the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love that. Um, Seawolf is obviously the really, really polished, polished game. Yeah. Be nice if the sun went down and then it get darker above and change, but it's hard enough without getting darker Yeah. because they could have put little lights on the boats and reduced them down to just lights and then it gets terrible. Playing games in the dark is really, gets really, really hard. Unless that's the difficulty level. Yeah. That it's giving you. Yeah. And then it's just part of the game. <laughs> um, and then eventually, there's no lights or anything. It's just black. It's just all black. And you're just shooting in the just dark. shooting in the dark. You have, no, you have to wear headphones and listen. <laughs> ding, 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 Ooh, ding, ding. That would be good. <laughs> that would be good. Um, so next episode, uh, it is incredible. Oh, is, yeah, this is a 4K game, isn't it? This is actually really incredible for a 4K game. There's yeah. a lot going on. Uh, it even has like... No, no title screen. This It serves as the title screen. But it's got uh, stuff at the bottom. Lots of different subs. and uh, Not subs, but ships. Beautiful sun at the top. You guys can't see it right now. But you remember. You remember. Yeah, ma amazing for a 4K game. So next uh, Wednesday, we're going to be playing Star Crusade, which I can't remember much about, and it doesn't have a link right now. Work in progress. I'll have to see if that's going to... No, somebody promised that to me. I may have to bump that, because they haven't sent it over yet. We'll see if that happens. I don't think it will. So I'll have to bump that and figure out other games to play. Um, and that's all that's planned so far. And there's another game called Matchy. On Friday with Tanya, I believe that's probably a puzzle. It is a puzzle game. That's why I put it on Friday. Um, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Let's see who's hung around. Cafe Man 2D, uh, Thrust 26, Gix 1978, Emmanuel Ferreira. Oh, way too fast. Oh, no. <laughs> Nathan Strom, Dan AVC. Uh, and Ka thanks, Ka Gix1978, for subscribing. Uh, Thunkist. Well, S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez, 2008. Ground Trooper. Laud Mott for making one of the games that we played. Uh, game Catcher. Uh, thank you, Nathan Strum, for subscribing. Again, 10 months. He's on a three month streak. Whoa. Lots of Laud Mott talking. Uh,. I think that's it. Did you say RCF? Oh, Yars Revenge fan. Oh, didn't see that person. Oh, some music. Some sounds. <laughs> it takes longer to put the game in power on the 2600, start the game and play it uh, to a point total than in real life. Rock, oh, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Repentless VG. 
Uh, MK Smith. Oh, lots of people today. That's awesome. And Gretams, last second, jumped in. And I supposed to. With a little box of candies, of chocolates, <laughs> I'm guessing. That's usually what they're in. Um, so many subs, the list is going to overflow soon. Oh, we're very close in danger, especially with the resubscriptions. And when Darcy subscribes as well, it may actually go off the screen <laughs> um, for real this time. It's been threatening. What and happens? And Dios Kilos, 80. What do you mean? It just, like the on the um, on the screen Oh, there. ah, yes, I see your saying. Like, yeah. really, there's room for, like, five or six well what you more. need to do sensibly is start it on the one side and just have it cover up everything <laughs> just the whole screen <laughs> big font yeah no i'm not saying a bigger font you want yeah. to leave room how would i just keep reducing the font size I, that was my first thought <laughs> just smaller and small that's funny actually i'll do that <laughs> that's just funny <laughs> i mean it's 1080p it should reduce enough down that it'd be fine then I can find better fonts that get even smaller, like pixel this fonts. Is when, this is when having um, your screen divided up into different resolutions works, and you have just one sliver down the side that's 4K, yeah. and then the rest of it is 1080, <laughs> and then this part over here in the center, which is uh, Atari, that's just like 320 or like whatever matches it is. matches perfectly. Matching, yeah, yeah. yeah, and so it dedicates tons of uh, compression or non-compression to like so it makes sure every pixel is exactly perfect 60 frames a second and yeah. us it doesn't matter yeah 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 it's really smart uh but we don't have that technology so and dios kilos does it wrap around to the left hand side of the screen no it just probably just goes right off the screen i'm guessing yeah it doesn't care it goes <laughs> off the screen um because the screen virtual screen is bigger than that like you can actually have things off the screen that don't actually show um so thanks for hanging out with us on this friday afternoon i hope everybody has a good weekend and we are going to see you next wednesday i will see you next wednesday with erlen you'll see him in two weeks probably probably unless something crazy happens Car carnival yes is the carnival happening somewhere <laughs> i'm sure there is Oh, maybe in Brazil. Brazil. Oh, yeah. next week it's happening. Very cool. <laughs> Can't make it down, unfortunately. We have games to play. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Carnival, uh, or Carnival, um, and have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye bye. Bye bye.